Hey everyone, welcome back to Indicted TV. I'm your host, Negra. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. You already know, before we start, we gotta give a shout out to my sponsors, LA Kush. Make sure you use promo code NEGRA40 at the LA Kush Sunset location only. And you already know, royalty honey, keep it hard, guys. On today's episode, we have Shimba. Behold. Behold. <laughs> welcome to Indicted TV. Welcome, thank you. I'm, I said welcome. Thank it's, you, it's, thank it's you. It's good, don't worry. I get it. Welcome to Indicted TV. So tell me, tell me where you're from. I don't mean a gang or anything. I just mean where you grew up, the area, you know, your mom, dad. How was the inside of your house growing up? Uh, I'm from Long Beach. It was a, uh, it was good. Uh, I grew up with my grandma okay. you know, at first. Uh, my mom, me and my mom, my auntie, uncles living with my grandma on Molino. And then uh, my grandma had kicked my mom out, and then we had to, uh, we went to a shelter for like a couple months. Oh, wow. And, and then uh, we got a spa in Carson, and I was just like living with my mom. How old were you when you had to live in the shelter? Uh, that was like later, that was later down the line. I was probably like six. Yeah, but that's still very young. I mean, um, tell me about that little experience, if you could remember, like, how you felt inside, like, not knowing. I mean, I don't know how it is to live in a shelter. So, I mean, you know, tell tell us. Because I'm sure, yeah, yeah, of course. Let's put it this way, so big fake, you know, so we could see your shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to big fake, man. Yes. You me with the design, man. But, um, yeah, uh, the stuff that I remember about the shelter, I know we had to be in there, like, by a certain time. Like, before, I think 8.30 was a curfew. And if you didn't, like... You got warnings, and then you could get kicked out type. And then, like, I just know it was, like, a bunch of people there. I, I never used to, like, being there. Like, so my mom used to only, like, try to have me there, like, at nighttime when it's time to, like, finish me sleep. She used to tell me, like, we just got to sleep here. We just got to sleep here. And then in the morning, I wake up, go to school, and then it's, like, I'm out all day, so. Yeah, I was about to ask you if you went to school while you were being in there. Yeah. Okay. So that's how it was until you said you moved to Carson. Mm -hmm. And you were probably, like, seven years old or whatever. Yeah. Are like, you the only? Are you the only one? Well, until I was twelve. Okay. Yeah, and then I had a little brother when I was twelve, but up until twelve, I was the only so one. So it was just you and moms trying to get it to. Well, you were her little. You know, you were you were there with her, riding with her, mm -hmm. going through the motions of what the things that she had to go through for whatever reasons. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, how was um how was your teen how was how were you in your teenage years? <laughs> oh man, I was bad. Okay, so tell me, why were you bad? Like, what did you do? Uh, I felt uh, just being a product of my environment and feeling like uh, I had to do this and to, to get some money and, 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 and live and be in a better living situation. So, you know, and I'm looking around at, you know, my, my older cousins and my uncles and, you know, different people. You're like, man, like, you see people can pull out 50,000, 100,000, walk around chains on their neck. You feel like this is the life. Like, this is what you want to do. They ride in foreign cars. Like, I want to do that. Got so, it. So they weren't drug users. They were more about the money. Because, yeah. you know, in, in our lifestyle, as far as, you know, we're all brown people, we're either broke or we all right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, I mean, we could be middle, but middle class doesn't live <coughs> the lifestyles that either one does. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... You were more like seeing your uncles get the money. Yeah, I was seeing uh, people in my family get some, some chip, and I just, I felt like I wanted some chip, too. I mean, who, like you said, no. who, who wants to be broke? Nobody want to be broke, but, like, the stuff that I was doing to get the money, like, now that I think think about it, like, I, it wasn't, you feel You're me? You're doing wasn't bad. Right. right. <laughs> okay, so at what age did you start actually getting in trouble to where, like, the cops, like, were arresting you? Middle school. Middle school. Like 12. You were 12 years old when you first got arrested. No, I didn't get arrested, but like, you know, like run-ins with the laws, like getting detained, having my mom come pick me up from the station type. Oh, tell me about your first time when your mom had to pick you up. <laughs> Don't be shy either, fool. We're fucking indicted. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, nah, it was uh, it was me, uh, the homie Janky, rest in peace, uh, and uh, somebody else that... Uh, Mm -hmm. I don't want to even say his name, but we was uh, flocking, you know, doing burglaries. And we was over there about... That's uh, what flocking means, yeah. doing burglaries. Okay. 
I'm old, you know. I got. I'm not hip. I don't really you know. They they say different stuff, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, we was on feet, and we was in Long Beach, like. And I ain't gonna lie, like I said, we was thirsty. Like I said, I you was were young, and, yeah. And we was doing burglaries, and we was like bounced up inside this house. And uh, when we bounced in, the alarm went off. We ran, but we ran to the park. <laughs> like we ran to the park because we wanted to go back. Like we was already at the park. We was, you know, playing throw up tackle and stuff. But like you know, it was usually we was robbing cornmans and stuff like that. But we couldn't rob no cornmans. There's no cornmans. Oh out. hell no, nah, fool! And, and, get and, this fool out of here! Yeah, I was <laughs> <just> saying, <laughs> get this fool out of here! Just keeping it real, you know. And we used to snatch phones too. But like it was the weekend though. It was the weekend. It wasn't like a school day, so it wasn't like nobody phone we could snatch. So we like man, we just got tired of playing throw up tackle. We was like man, we finna bounce in here, and we bounced in the alarm went off. But we ran back to the park. And then when we went back, it was nobody there, but we bounced in, and then we heard the police coming. They were waiting for you guys, probably. I don't know what they was doing, but they came, and they was coming, and we bounced out, and we, cause we was on the north side, so we knew the area, north side Long Beach, and uh, we just started running. We ran. I got caught on the riverbed, like. <laughs> Red-handed. <laughs> yeah, but like. Did you have no, the stuff on you? Nothing was stolen. Like, oh hell. We just, once we heard the police coming, like I said, we were 12. Mm -hmm, like, once course. we heard the police coming, we ran. Like, we just got up out of there. He didn't get caught. I got caught. They took me to the station. But uh, they just had my mom pick me up because nothing was stolen. They just said, like, it was, like, vandalism or something mm -hmm. like that. But, yeah, Your that was, was the pissed? first time. What? She was hot. But she, I didn't she tell whooped her, you? I didn't tell her the truth. Oh, no, Linus. They, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell her the truth. I ain't going to lie. But, um. Well, what did you tell her? I told her it was vandalism, like they said. Oh, you like, didn't say that you broke in? Yeah, because nothing was stolen. Got like, it. I'm like, man, I, I don't know. Like, I was just with the homies, and we were just playing, like, through a rock through the window. Okay, like, you know, okay. I get it. I mean, little... I would have probably done the same shit. I probably <laughs> did a gang of times, you know? Yeah. She was still <laughs> mad, though. Oh, well, yeah. But cause it just because was... you were with the cops, obviously. Right. But she didn't really know it was, like, you know, some illegal stuff, because we were, my intentions was illegal. But I was covering up. Like illegal stuff, what I was like trying to do when I was playing football, cause I was, that was what I was known for. You feel me? I played football all the way up until like ninth grade. I got you know, I got end up got getting kicked out of poly, so I stopped. But that's what I was doing though. Mm -hmm. And then like, but I was like I said, I didn't want to be broke, so like I was dipping and dabbling. Like when the homies want to do bad stuff, you, you know, went. do hood rat stuff with my friends. Like that's, what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's doing hood rat stuff. That's hood rat. What? what? That's super I thought, like, hood rat. I thought like hood rat stuff was like, you know, you're out there around like hood rat shit. Not stealing. That ain't no hood rat shit. That's some hood rat hey, shit. Hey, kids you're are not, I mean, I'm not saying kids, like younger generation use the words a little different these days. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the heck? Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. So um, you were going to school. You, you know, you were still going to school. You were playing football. You enjoyed playing football. Um, Till you got to high school. Well, I enjoyed playing football in high school, too, but, like, I just, something happened to where I got caught up in some shit to where I got kicked out of the whole district, district. you know. Did you go to jail for it? Yep. Do you want to tell us about it? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> I was, uh, with my cousin. He's grown, right? He's 18. He didn't go to school. But, you know, uh, in high school, you know, he used to trap in the alleys and all that. He was selling his weed and stuff. We were smoking weed one day in the alley. And it was it was a nigga that was in my uh, second period class. And uh, he had the new phone. And the What homies, years were these, if you don't mind me asking? Just so I could get a vision of, like, the kind of phones. So we could get a vision of the phones, you know what I'm saying? Right. It was... Uh, I think it was 2015, the end of 2014, the end of 2014 or the beginning of 2015, but it was an uh, iPhone, though. Oh, shit. Okay. Like, probably like the iPhone 7 or, yeah, probably like 7 or 6, one of those. But he had one, and I asked him if I could use it. He let me use it, but I wasn't trying to do nothing, and I just gave it back to him. But my cousin was on some thirsty stuff, like, hey, that's, that's your homie? I'm like, no, I don't know him. Like, he just in my second period class. He let me use his phone. He's like, I'm finna book him. And like I didn't have nothing to do with it, but I'm walking to the train station because I'm about to go home, and my cousin walking with me, and he walking with me too because he let me use his phone, and then like 
he let him use the phone too because he thought he was with me. But when he let, I already know what my cousin finna do. So when he let him use the phone, I just walked off. Like the train was coming anyway. So yeah. I just walked off and I got on the train. He did what he did. And when he did what he did, you feel me? My cousin told me what he did. And I was like, well, damn, I'm like, all right. And I went to school the next day. And when I, I mean, not the next day, that was Friday. I went to school following on Monday. And when I went to school on Monday, uh, I walked into the second period, and uh, I used to smoke before going to school. So I, I smelled like weed, and I had like probably like a zip on me in my backpack, and I had a gun. And uh, so I was already paranoid. So the, oh, yeah, you were bad. Yeah, and I wasn't even supposed to be on the east side of Long Beach anyway. Like at that time, I was game banging. But anyway, um, uh, you smell like weed. You have a gun. Yeah, right. Your cousin did this. You don't know though, right? Yeah, this is following. This is following like going to school the next week on mm-hmm. Monday. Security came. I'm thinking they coming here because I smell like weed. I was only sitting in class for like five minutes. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking they coming here because I smell like weed. But when they came in here, they was like, "Hey, uh, can I talk to you?" I was like, "Yeah, what's up?" And I like scooted my backpack over like cause it was you know. Mm-hmm. And then uh, they grabbed me. And then when they grabbed me, they told me, like, hey, yeah, uh, somebody's pressing charges against you. They fear for their life. I'm oh. like, what? They're like, yeah, they fear for their life. Like, they don't want to come to school no more, so uh, <gasps> you're, we got to uh, talk to you in the office. So they're walking me to the office. They didn't handcuff me or nothing, but, like, they walking me to the office. Uh, and uh, I get to the office, and then the principal is telling me, like, yeah, uh, you robbed somebody. Da, 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 da. I'm like, I didn't rob nobody. They're like, oh, well, Woody Woody Woo said that you robbed him and this happened and this happened. Everything that my cousin did. Was you. He, right. He said it was me because he didn't know my cousin, but he knew me. So he, everything my cousin did, he blamed it on me. Everything my cousin did was extra. <gasps> like, he did more than just <laughs> take the phone. Like, he, yes. man, like, I already took the time for it. I took the case for it, for it so I could talk about it. Like, of course. He took the phone, took him to the ATM, made him take money out, all different type of so stuff. So you like, did all of that, according I to I did that. that. Yeah. Like, you feel me? So yeah. it's like, Dang, because like, right? Where's that boy anyways? <laughs> no, I'm just going <laughs> to... He good. He straight. Like, uh, you feel me? I did what I was supposed yeah. to do. But, uh, uh, they was telling me like, yeah, just call your mom because uh, we're gonna call the uh, the uh, the uh, police. It was like there's a school police at Poly, and like we're gonna call them, but they weren't there. And I'm like, what? Like, so I call my mama. I'm telling her. I told her straight up what's going on. By this time, like I'm already like I'm I'm playing football, but like she, she knows like, you. She knows me already. Like you know, I'm I'm already outside doing my stuff. Like I and I had a I have a relationship with my mom. Like growing up, like. I was, it was cool, like, if, as long as I'm telling her what I'm doing, like, we were straight, like, she let me bring people over and all type of stuff, like, she was mm-hmm. a good mom, like, but, um, yeah, I, t- I call my mom and I tell her, like, yeah, uh, they talking about, they finna call the police, mama, like, they like, what, what you do? I'm like, I ain't do nothing, but they talking about they finna call the police, and I'm going to jail, but I'm, I'm out of here, I'm like, my auntie lived down the street, so I'm like, mom, I'm finna run, like, I'm finna run to my auntie, I was like, I'm gone, she's like, all right. <laughs> like what? What, what she gonna say? What she, yeah. she not gonna say? No, like yeah, of and course. even if she did say no, You're I'm still, still about to get. I'm out of here. So first, like I'm like, all right, uh, can I use the restroom? They're like, yeah. So I grab, I have grabbed my backpack and I got. Oh, up. so they didn't even look in your backpack. Mm-mm. Oh well, good. Good, safe. That that was it was straight. But I uh, I grabbed my backpack and I got up and uh, I started walking, walking, and then I seen like I seen the police. Like the not the not the real police, but like the security of the of the campus. I seen them walking, and I'm walking like trying to make sure they don't see me, but they don't know who's in the office. Mm-hmm. So they just walk straight past me, and I walk past them. And then like Polly on the side, like it's a side door where like you could just run, like you could just run straight out. And you're out. Right. So that's what I did. I just ran out the side, and then when I ran out the side, you gotta run out the parking lot. So now I'm running out, running down the parking lot. To run down the, to run straight down the back street, down the light, and as I'm running, I see the police that they call. They're coming, but they don't even know. Like, it's, and it's people walking. I ran. This is mind you. This is like, like probably like nine in the morning, ten. So it's still students coming, coming in. late and all different stuff. So like, yeah, I, I ran, ran to my auntie house, <laughs> banging on her door. 
I'm like, hey, bro. Like, once he opened the door, my cousin opened the door. The hell I'm like, bro, what the? I'm like, what did you do? Like, dang, you did this, did this. I'm like, bro, where's my, bro, where my money at, bro? Yeah. Like, yeah, forget my, me going like, to jail. Where's bro, my fucking money? You got me going through all this. Where my money at? He gave me five hundred dollars. Like, I'm like, all right, I was cool. Like, I wasn't really that mad, but I still was mad because I was just getting expelled. So like, oh, so just, you just got expelled from school? Yeah. You didn't go to jail or anything? No. Oh, well, well no, 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 I did. I ended up going to jail. I'm telling you the story. What happened? Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, I ran, and then uh, my uh, the school was making threats, talking about they was going to uh, search my auntie's house because my, the the way for me to go to Polly, I was using her address. Uh-huh. They talking about they going to search her house if I don't turn myself in. I'm, I'm not going to turn myself in. I ended up getting caught like two weeks later, so like that nipped everything in the bud to her. They didn't have to search her house or nothing. Oh, which worked out. Right. You didn't want to put your aunt's house in danger. Yeah. So who knows what happens? I went to jail, and then uh, that was my first time. Uh, tell me about your first time, like <laughs> your face. <laughs> Cause no, this is the funniest. This is the funniest stuff ever. Like, the, uh, so my first time when I went down, um, I was uh, 15, and uh, when I went down. Um, where did you go, Los Padrinos or something? Los, yeah, Los Padrinos. I went to X and Y, the unit X and Y. And at the time, I wasn't official, like, game banging, but I was claiming. I was big claiming the hood, like, like banging it, like, hard. And it was somebody in there. His name was D with it. And, he, like, he was from he was from the hood. So when I walked in here, this is, this is my first time, like I said. <laughs> so, but, like, my uncle from the hood, my dad from the hood, my cousin, like, I— I, can, I know people like I wasn't just somebody claiming like I knew my yeah, family I, from the hood and, I, I, and you I, gotta I'm claim actually, it first in order to get jumped in right and I'm actually hanging out with the young with the young niggas every day like you know we claiming it like we about to do this we finna get put on da, da, da. Mm-hmm. so we actually doing stuff and I just going to jail so I was just thinking I'm tight this is my first time in jail and people ask me where I'm from I'm banging brick boys I'm from brick boy crap da, da, da. so anyway the, it was somebody named D with it and he was actually official so he was like, when I walked in there, he was like, uh, yeah, you know you got somebody named D. Witter from from your hood? I'm like, who? They're like, D. Witter? I'm like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know who that is. And that started up some stuff because he was official and mm-hmm. I wasn't. So he was like, hey, like, who who from over there? He's like, hey, they said somebody named Cinco from over there. Da, 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 da. I ended up seeing him in the classroom. He like, hey, where you from? I'm like, I'm from Brick Boy Crip. I banged on him hard. He like, no, you not, bro. Da, da, da. Who you know from the hood? Da, 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 da. We just started exchanging people. But long story short, I went in there, you feel me, claiming I ran into the dude D with it, and he seen me in there. Like, I was just, you feel me, just banging the hood. I was only in there for, like, five days. Okay, when you I were going hard court, in those five days. I was, though. So <laughs> I ended up going to court, and I, uh, they let me out on probation. So, like, basically, the reason why I just took the case anyway, because, like, they were trying to ask me who was who. I'm like, man, can I get out of jail? I'll take the case. I don't even care. Like, For sure. Like, just let me take this. They just gave me probation, told me I could go home. Hey, so. but probation is extremely hard, huh, when you're that, that age? I didn't really care. No, I'm I re- sure. Like, at, at that time, and the reason, the reason why it's not hard, and this is the problem as, like, as a youth, and, like, when they, like, it's kind of like a brainwashing when you're, like, in the streets. Um, you already in a mentality to where it's like, oh, if I burglarize this house or if I rob this person, they just going to give me house arrest. They just going to give me probation. They just going to give me some minor placement, a uh, five-month, uh, five three-month camp program. That ain't nothing. Like, if the risk could weigh, like, 50000 a 100000 it's it's 100000 in this house, I'm going to risk it for— uh, Six uh, months. Right. And that's how, at a youth, as I was thinking, and me and all my crowd and the rest of the youth, that's how they think, like— and when you have that thought process, it, it it makes you not care. So when you ask me, like, oh, probation was not, it didn't, didn't even matter to me. Got it. I was ready to go on a run and all type of stuff, like, you know. How many times did you violate your probation? A lot. But so you made it to camp as well? No. I kept going. I kept getting. I had four house races, two placement programs. And then the longest I sat in there, I sat in Central for a whole year straight. So it was like basically a camp program, but they didn't send me to camp. I was just in Central the whole time. How was your uh, Central experience? Because I think right, Central is a little more different than Central is different than, uh, than Los Virginos because usually like Los Virginos, all the like Compton hoods and like Long Beach hoods go right there to like LP, like LA. All the LA hoods go to Central, like. So when I'm over there, I was but I was already rapping and all that, so I was known like oh Cinco, what do you do? But like. 
I didn't really have too many like enemies to squabble or nothing like that. But oh, I was, was still good. fighting people though, like because you could fight anybody in Los Padrinos. Yeah. Like it, you was just fighting anybody, but you know it was it was. Not like a regular jail experience. Did you have visits? Your mom used to go visit you? Oh, yeah. You? Every, every, every. What about every pin pals? Weekend. You had pin pals? You had girls raiding you? Man, I'm going to keep it a stack. Like, no. I mean, <laughs> like. <laughs> what? You, you had a couple. You had a, I'm like 16, 17. I had a couple, like, little, like, that people that's trying to. But, like, like I said, I was rapping. I wasn't even worried about, like, girls. no females. I was, like, sticking and moving, sticking and moving. I wasn't, like, you feel me? And mm -hmm. when you in, when you in a, when you in jail, it's like, you already know, like, all they got is conversation for you. What did, what, did, what could you do for me? Like, for sure. You ain't really, unless you're really doing something. I'm, I'm a minor at, at that. It's not like I'm grown in a pen. I'm, you feel me? Like, it wasn't, it wasn't one of those scenarios. What was you? What was the craziest thing you saw in your juvenile hall experience? Man, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The craziest thing I seen in my juvenile hall experience. It was me and the homie Hardhead from Twenties. Man. This dude hardhead is a hardhead. When I tell you, this dude started a riot in a church at Central, and it was going up. It was like like four people fighting, throwing chairs and all that. It was spray everywhere, and we talking about juvenile hall. Like it's not too much that oh, could really riots. go up like that. Like mm -hmm. you could go up in a school, you could go up like playing basketball or something. But going up in a church, like that's pretty you have intense. To, like it's people from different units, so that means there's different. Uh, CO's not really CO staff. They call them staff. There's different staff standing in each row from each unit, unit. that came. So I've been in, in that order to even run. run across to even get something out the way, because that's what happened. Like it, he didn't squabble nobody that was in the dorm. He ran across, and bro, like we just start. We just got cracking. so he went like, from like one end to like the other end. Yes, and he was just going. He's at the end of the row, and they was popping it though for a whole week, like across the football field like they was been popping it against the same people that uh that squabble inside the church they was it was a build up so when they seen each other it was like what's oh. up like what's up yeah, and it happen. was like you feel me when you do this that mean like meet me halfway like oh, somebody shit. do this and you don't get up like you didn't get up and go <laughs> like, oh, you wait. So, so you got right you over there. like oh shit <laughs> And oh, I know, and I know. So when I see when I see these fools next, I'll be like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, you got out of juvenile hall. You got out of central. Uh, yeah. Well, wait. You said you went to placements too. Yeah, I did placements. How I, how are those experiences? Are these all for violations, or did you just say you you did a lot not, of like, robberies? So like, how it go? Like for example, like I did a robbery. I go to jail and be in jail for like a month or two. They give me house arrest. Got it. I'm house arrest for a month. I go back to jail. I'm out for like three four months doing my thing. I go back to jail. Boom! I got house arrest again. That happened four times in a row. Damn. So like I'm doing like little stuff two weeks. I'm doing two months. I'm doing three months. But four times when they let me out I got house arrest after that I had two placement programs so when I went back to jail I was in jail for like four months and then they sent me to placement and when I went to placement they sent me to like a penny lane I was like 16 when that happened I was, yeah I was 16 when that happened and then also I was in penny lane when I was 17 what too. is penny lane obviously it's a placement but it's like a placement it's um it's in uh Northridge oh I guess I think somebody else said that was they were in penny lane is it like co-ed or nah? Yeah, it's co-ed. We're not like, no, you're not in a house with boys and girls. Oh. But they did have some like that, but they were big. Got but it. like I was living at a house house, like a regular house. So it was only like uh, five of us or six of us. And we like, I had my own room with a uh, with a roommate. And like we could bring stuff from our house. So we had like the game, PlayStation, uh, TV in our room. We had our phone, so it was like it was cool. Like we was able to, we had a backyard. Like it was, it was smooth. And I was going to a school out there in Northridge, and like I was rapping already. Like sixteen, so I started rapping when I was sixteen. So like, and like the first song that I ever did, it was a song called "Give 'Em Hell." But 
to this even to this day is my, the most oh, played nice. song I had. But I dropped that when I was 16, and it's like it was going crazy. It's like so everybody was knowing me for that song. But when I was out there in Northridge, it's just like they was acting like fans. And mind you, you a, a teenager awkward, that huh? <laughs> a teenager that's rapping in high school. Like if you a teenager rapping in high school and you actually like got some followers, like then like you feel you feel like you somebody because you all through high school, everybody like you walking through the school, all these these people are the same age as you and mm-hmm. they all like That's oh, dope. That's hard, that's hard. I like that. Keep going. Da-da-da-da-da. Like you feel me? And it's yes. making you want to keep going. Like, all right, I could do it. And that's really the best time to network, though. When, you, when you're you in high school. You're because that's the, like, you you got so many people you just coming across. You don't know what this dude going to be in the next five years. That's or, right. You feel me? So I was just, you know, networking and stuff like that. It's good. I mean, but obviously it didn't help. It didn't, it didn't help. Yeah, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. You never ran away from placements? Yeah, I did. Uh, Does that just mean you just never came back, or uh, it's called being it's called AWOLing. So I just AWOL mean I just left. I called the homie, told him come pick me up. Okay, so it's not like you had to like run through some crazy shit or nah, anything nah, like nah. that. Nah, okay. you live you live in a neighborhood like you, you're living at a house. Like normal shit. Yeah, like a normal like you know. So when the homie I called the homie to pull up, he just pulled up to a regular house and nice. I just bounced in the and car. And did you just go home or like your mom let you come back home or I you didn't were just go on the home streets? Because if I would have went home, the police would have came to get me. I was on I was on the streets. This when I was messing with Java. He came and get me. I was you know, thugging. You were dug in. Yeah. Okay, so you were on the run for a little while. Yep. Is that how you were, like, throughout your whole teenage years? Until you were 18? Yep. I'll, yep. <laughs> Tell me about your first time going to the L.A. County. It's completely uh, different from the halls. Yeah, for sure. Completely different. Uh, first time going to L.A. County. That uh, was the first case I went down for. It only really took, I bailed out, uh, the, but... The first time going in there, I was for, I got raided. Uh, they raided my mom's house. Uh, all right, so look, look, look. I did a year in Central. They let me out on my birthday. Okay. When I was 18. So I got out 2018, February 15th. That's my birthday. They let me out. And then, uh, like, I caught a case literally, like, two months later. Like, and it was for a robbery. So they raided my house, but what kind of robbery? How did you do the robbery? Obviously, you could speak about it because you yeah. already been convicted for it. Man, it was uh, it was me. The hum- Actually, nah, nah, nah. I can't talk about that. I can't because it's somebody else that's on this case that still to this day, because they was, you know, had other stuff going on. They still haven't got that case resolved. Oh. So this happened like you know years ago, five years ago, but like. You know, I took the time, and the other homie took the time. But some another person that was yeah, he doesn't there, matter. We yeah. don't even got to bring him so up. So I can't really speak about that. Okay, so tell me about the time where you went to prison. What led you to prison? So much stuff, like all the robberies that you did. Like I did a robbery, I had a burglary, a high speed chase, a gun charge. Uh, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? An uh conspiracy to commit robbery like i had like six charges but i was bail crime bail crime bail crime you were just bailing out I kept bailing, bailing out. out like first bill was like a hundred thousand no first bill was like for the robbery was like fifty thousand and i bailed out then i was out for like probably like two three more months before i caught another case <clears throat> but see i was doing stuff like i was smacking like houses and doing all different type of stuff to where it's like every time I went to jail, like, and and this is how I was, and it felt like if I hit for $50,000, I'm going to put 25000 up. Like, I've never seen it, and I'm going to only play with twenty five. So, like, how I was doing it, because I knew that if I'm out here doing what I got to do, I for sure got to have money to bail out. At like I, like you said, L.A. County is different. You don't you don't want to be up in there just sitting there like stressing like when you know you could get up out of here and make stuff shake. So like that's what that was what I used to do. But uh, yeah, I was bell crying, bell crying until it got up to uh, like it was uh, 2019. I had I did I had did no December. I had uh, did a robbery. This is all, I'm already out on my like. Third bill, I had did I, my second my my second bill was like a high speed chase I did with the homie Jabari, 
crashed my Infinity truck. The car caught on tr- caught on fire. Like, oh shit! Were you in the car when it was like, caught on fire? Yeah. Tell us about that. So and and that day, all right. So this is the second bill. So the first bill I told y'all, I said I did a robbery. Mm-hmm. Second bill, high speed chase. So the high speed chase, I'm, it's me, the homie Jabari, and uh, this girl named Teal. So uh, no, we don't need no, we, don't, yeah. we don't need to know anybody's name. But it's good. We all yeah. took time for it. So stuff like this, I can speak about. It's, it's done deal. Okay. So we uh. We was all with each other. We had just left uh, the telly. We was going to go to the studio, studio in Santa Ana. Man, I was off like a foe. I put a foe on the deuce, like, and I was pulled down. And they You mean know, lean? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the homies know, like... I, I I'm not a lean type of girl. You know what I'm saying? I was an upper, so I don't I don't like to be smacked it's back. Nice. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, though, like... The homies know, like, even all, all my cars, not to brag about, this ain't nothing to brag about. This is very foolish of me, but I done crashed all my cars. Like, Dummy. I was pulled down, and when, when I pulled out the hotel, so mind you, right? All right, so this is the hotel right here. So when you pull out, is you pull out, and you go this way, and you have this street cars coming this way. So when I pulled out the hotel, I'm on this street. I'm not, I'm supposed to be on this side. I'm on the wrong side of the street. So I'm, I, but I'm waiting at the light. I'm supposed to turn right to oh, get on the freeway. Oh, hell no. You're already- I'm so high. I'm supposed to turn right to get on the freeway, but I'm on the wrong side <sighs> of the street. So when a car a car pulling up, and it's the police. But they're at the red light just, like, waiting for me, like, to get over Like, what some. is this fool going to do? It's, like, 12 o'clock at night. Mm. And I'm in my Infinity truck, but I'm just posted, like, here, right here, like, just, like, mm-hmm. like this, looking stupid. Pull down. Then they hit me with the flash. And when they flip, hit me with the flash, I'm like, oh, dang, because it was a green light. Then I switched over. And when I switched over, I was supposed to get on the freeway, but I kept straight. I'm like, oh, damn, I'm supposed to get on the freeway. So I'm over here doing some, like, jittery shit. Like, oh, like, like scary ass fool. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping straight. And then I'm, I look, and they bust, they bust a bitch. And I'm like, oh, man, they finna get me. And, uh, the homie, I wasn't even going to go, like, on a high-speed chase. But the homie was like, bro, you got to go, bro. Like, bro, she going to tell on us. I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> he just kept saying that, bro. She going to tell on us. And now they arguing. But the police is, like, literally right here. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? He's like, bro, just go. I got a warrant, bro. I got a warrant, bro. Just go. I'm like, man, I just I just went. Because the only thing that made me go is because he had a warrant. But she already, the, the reason why he started screaming, she going to tell on us. We already been telling her, like, you got to, while we in the car, we have blowers with us. I'm like, you, if something happened, you got to bounce out with the blower. She bounced out with the blower, though. So, when I, when we, when I. Oh, she's dumb. Nah, she wasn't dumb. She I would already, never listen to you, She fools. already knew what it was, I would though. just get off and fuck you, fools. I'm out. If I, if, I, <laughs> if, if, if I tell you, like, look, this what it is, and you like, okay, so you follow suit with it. It wasn't like, no, like. Nah, follow suit is keep your <laughs> shit, fool. <laughs> <laughs> to each their own, to each their own. But yeah, I, I bent the corner, and when I bent the corner, like I pulled over by like a little park, and I let her bounce out with the blower. Oh, okay. And she bounced out with the blower. She was slow. She ran so slow, but she was running through the park. <laughs> slow motion. So slow motion, like <laughs> running through the park, and then uh, the 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 boys got behind us, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm like. Nah, bro, you got to go, bro. They finna get her, bro. Look how slow she running, bro. Keep going, bro. We finna get on, bro. Go to the hood, bro. Go to the hood. Like, yeah, the hood it's was her around the corner. The damn blowers. So I, I got on again, like, but I had a, a good jump start because the police stopped. Because I pulled over and stopped and just let her run. And, like, the police was like, uh, turn the car off. Da, 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 da. And I was sitting there for a little bit, for, like, two minutes, deciding what I'm finna do. And the police got out with they dumb ass. Excuse me, but they got out and we left. For and sure. When, and when we got on, uh, he didn't he didn't even even bounce in and uh and chase because he was getting her, but another car got behind us though, and I was swinging though, and uh, what happened was like I'm trying to I'm running a red light, and uh, it's like a car with like uh you know that you put all them little tools in the back, and they mm-hmm. trying to hurry up. I'm I'm running a red light, but they're trying to go. And as I'm going, I'm getting past, and he clipped me mm. at the end. And when he clipped me, I went like this. How did you do it? it? I went like, <laughs> 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 and it like locked up on me, and I, I just like went like this, and it hit the pole. And when it hit the pole, my battery just flew straight out. It flew <gasps> out the, it flew out the uh, 
from the bottom, and then uh, the car caught on fire. And both of my ankles was like messed up. I couldn't bounce out, run oh, or nothing. No, because you put all the pressure on them, probably. And the homie that was in the back, because the girl was in the front. The homie was in the back. He didn't have his seatbelt on. He in the back seat. Like, go, go, go. Turn this way, turn this way. Go, go do this. He, but he the reason why I crashed. He in my ear. I'm like this, driving, already doing 80 on a on a on a on a main on a main street, trying to run a red light, like trying to beat cars. I'm, I would have beat the car. That the car clipped me. His, he already in my ear. Hey, do this, do this, do this, do this. So I'm like, actually dry your ass fool. Man, but he flipped. <gasps> yeah. He went out the window or no? Nah, oh, he was well, in the God. back seat and he flipped to the front seat. And his head was like <gasps> where your feet would be. Oh, and his, no. Well, he ended up breaking his leg, though. But, like, I don't know how. Well, thank God he didn't break his head, though. Man, because he could have flew out the window. Yes. I hit the pole hard. It was a, a big uh, a light pole. That's scary. Uh, yeah, so I hit the pole and the car caught on fire. And I'm like... He like, bro, I'm like, bro, we gotta get out of here. Like, bro, I told you, fool, don't crash, bro. He kept screaming, don't crash, bro, don't crash, bro. Go this way, don't crash. He like, bro, I told you, don't crash, bro. I'm like, bro, we gotta get out the car, bro. We gotta get out the car, like it's on fire. I, I try to bounce out. I fell straight to my knees because my ankles was messed up. Like, I couldn't even like, but like, I ended up getting them out and uh. And when I crashed, there was no police behind. Like I said, I was doing 80. They wasn't even trying to chase me. I'm doing 80 on the street. Like, though they was not chasing me. I crashed, and then they got up on me. And when I crashed, uh, they didn't even arrest me at the time. Like, because they didn't know who was driving. We both on the floor. Like, they're like, where the driver? I'm like, he bounced out and ran. He gone. He, but it's just me and him in the car. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's like... They didn't know that. They didn't know that. So, you feel me? I'm like, he ran. So, and we both hurt. So, they we they just got us on the floor. Like, the ambulance came. And the only reason why they knew I was a driver, right? Because the police that flashed me, he I had an Angels sweater on. He said, I know it was you because I hate the Angels. And I seen that red Angel sweater. He said, if you would have took Pretty that legit, off, you know? Man, you know it's crazy, right? I had, like, a bunch of clothes in my back in my back seat. I was thinking about grabbing it, but it was like, because I didn't see no police coming, but I was more worried about the homie, the car's on fire. Yeah, you got to get your friend out. <clears throat> I'm thinking we cool, because the other police that was there that had us, like, they wasn't worried about putting us in cuffs or none of that. They was trying to get us help. As soon as the other police pulled up, though, he like, oh, yeah, that's him. Him with the Red Angels. Damn. Went to jail. The homie didn't go to jail, though. He was in the hospital. I went to jail that time. That was the second bail. I was in, like, they had me, like, in the infirmary for, like, three days. I ended up bailing out. And then the third bail was a... Uh, uh, but you were in the infirmary in the county jail? Like, it was a jail or, like... In the county, they had me in, like, uh, you op... They had me in, like, the, uh, the... Whatchamacallit? The robe? The room. Yeah, the room where it's just... You just by yourself. Okay. Yeah. Just like a hospital kind of mm -hmm. vibe. Yeah. And I, and, when I, and I was cuffed to the... Before, before I even went to the county I was cuffed they had me cuffed to the bed uh -huh. and then they had to you feel me fix my ankles and all that but that was the uh, that was the second bell then the third bell was a gun charge um I bailed out instantly on that like the next day like I bailed out but by this time like the first bell like I said was 50,000 the high speed chase was like a uh, hundred thousand dollar bell this gun charge was 50 uh, uh 50,000 but what they did on the third bill, because I was bell crying, they raised it from 50000 to 150000 But I ended up bailing out on that still, though, because like I said, like, I had money. And then the fourth bill was a robbery and a uh, well, conspiracy. They got me for conspiracy to commit robbery uh, for a jury store. And we got arrested uh, Twenty eight. it was like 2018, around December. Uh, I ended up bailing out on that too, like bailed out on that. On his so you just like, had all kinds of cases mm -hmm. build up. And then like my 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 fifth bill, uh, I went to jail because I was look, I was out on bail. Let me. This is the dumbest way I went to jail. It's usually how it works. Let me tell you the dumbest way I went to jail. I'm out on. I'm already out on uh, four bills. Now this is gonna be the fifth bill. I'm out on four bills. I had just passed. I ain't gonna lie. We just passed. I was up eighty bands to the face, like up. And uh my I had an ankle monitor though from the other from the other uh Bells. Bells. So and that at that time my bill was at uh, seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars that total from for all the other bills added. And uh so it was ringing, but 
I was still passing with an ankle monitor on. The way I was doing it is because I would let my ankle monitor die, and when it's dead, like, they can't track you. So, and then, like, if you put, like, foil around it, anyway. But, so, all those little things really do work. Yeah. <laughs> so, but they, my, my ankle monitor keep ringing and ringing and telling me to charge it, but, like, I, and I was, and I, I could have charged it, but I was so distracted because I was worried about this money, like, you know, like, what I'm, I'm and mind you, I had already just, like, tucked on people. So I was like, I'm worried about how I'm finna, like, finesse this, put this over here, do this, da 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 So it's me, the homie hitman, and my baby mama. And we pull up to 52nd Atlantic, to Louisiana. And when we pull up over there, uh, we pull up to get some Louisiana, but we had already ordered. So I pull up. I, I'm not driving. The homie hitman driving. And when we pull up, I bounce, uh, and this, we in my uh, SRT, and I bounce out, and I'm going to go grab the stuff. And as I'm going to go grab the stuff, I just see, like, three cars pulling up, like, but I'm thinking it's, like, ops or something, like, like some, I'm like, who is this, like, I, I, but it's as I'm walking back with the food already, though. I'm like, who is this, like, you feel me? I'm like, Hitty, what the, he's like, bro, come on, bro, like, come on. I bounce in the car, and as I bounce in the car, like, they like when they pulled up, they stopped, but it was enough room for it. Like if I hurried up and bounced in, like we could just drive mm -hmm. through. But this is like we didn't when I pulled up, we didn't park or nothing. We just was we just stopped real quick. Like I said, we just picking up an order, and uh, we just drove through. And when we drove, through, I'm like, who is these niggas? Like who? I'm thinking it's like some ops or something. Like I'm like, who is these niggas? But they following us. But like get lose these niggas. Like and we we end up losing them. I'm like, bro, what the? I'm like, man, that's crazy, bro. And like. I'm like, so man. you're being watched. Mm-hmm. Well, I turned down because I, I turned my what's my call it back on. My, oh, you're... my ankle monitor. It was charging from my uh from I had it I had it plugged inside the car and I had it on my ankle. Oh shit! I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, they had it's like a little like you know like the little uh, USB little things. You oh. can put it. You could put it inside the car. And, ah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's way different from before. You know, I haven't experienced fucking house arrest. Yeah. In a very long time. <laughs> Thank God. And then, uh, so yeah, I plugged it back up. And then uh, we went to go get some Starbucks. My baby mama was craving some Starbucks. She was pregnant. I was about to say that. Yeah, she was like, probably like six months or something like that. And then um, we got some Starbucks. And this was, like I said, the dumbest reason why I went to jail. Um, I get some... I get some of her Starbucks, right? As I drink some of her Starbucks, and she starts screaming at me. Why are you drinking my Starbucks? Da -da -da -da? Like, you could have got your own. Da -da -da. I'm like, what are you talking about? Typical I bought this. Shit. Like, I just bought this. Like, this I can't get a shit. sip. Like, nah, you could have got your own. Da -da -da. I'm like, I'll throw this out the window. What uh. are you talking about? Like, like we was toxic. Like, but I don't like that. And, like, all that toxic stuff. But I was stupid. You know what I mean? I'll throw this out the window. Like, what are you talking about? I can't get in. I just bought it. Like, she know you ain't gonna throw it out the window. I threw it out the window. I threw it out the window. She socked me. Like, toxic, stupid, like, real toxic. Like, when she socked me, and I told her, I'm like, hey man, pull over, bro, pull over. And I snatched it out the car, and when I snatched it out the car, bro, all these cars just pulled up. Like, I didn't do, I didn't hit her, and then, like, you feel me? I was getting ready to, but, like, I just snatched it out the car. When I snatched it out the car, the other cars pulled up, and I was like, The ones that were following you guys. Yeah. Because, like I said, I was charging my ankle monitor in the car. And they bounced out. And it's this time when they bounced out, they bounced out with blowers. But, like, they white, they was white. And, you know, they had the little mm -hmm. badge. And um, it was uh, the bounty hunters. Ah. And the reason why they was coming to get me is because my ankle monitor had been dead for two days. And the reason why it's been dead for two days is because prior I was in the field for two days. And, like I said, I had just passed on 80 bands. And it's like, you know... When I was still trying to get to it, you know, I just had to make sure my ankle monitor was dead. And uh, I ended up forgetting it because, like, man, it's a You're big just amount. doing your shit. Yeah. So they pull up on me, and they tell me, like, yeah. They First, they're like, uh, are you straight? Why, get off of her. Da, da, da. Like, and I let her go. And they're, they're like, actually, are you good? You good? You want to press charges? They're like, she's like, no. Like, let them go. Like, what are you guys doing? Da, 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 da. Like, and I'm like, man, here, take off. Like, I had money on me. I didn't have all of it. I had, like, $20,000 on me, though. The other money was already put up. I'm like, here, take this, take this. I'm like, let her, like, let her take this, like, get the money on my pocket. She grabbed all the money on my pocket. She grabbed the chains off my neck. I had, like, 
six chains on, like fat chains. She took the chains off my neck. I'm like, what are y'all grabbing me for? They're like, oh, you're, like, you're a flight risk. Da -da -da. You have court tomorrow. I have court tomorrow. Oh, but you knew you were going to court. I was going to court. Okay. I was happy. I just passed. I'm up. Court tomorrow is good. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, like. Did you, did you tell them, like, hey, I know I'm going to court? Yes, bro. They like, your ankle monitor is dead. It's been dead. Like, you ain't been responding to it. I'm like, oh, my gosh, bro. I go to jail. And I told them, like, man, am I going to have to, like, so what's going to happen? Y'all just going to tell the bell bonds, like, I got court tomorrow, right? I'm going to go to court. Like, y'all know that, right? I've been. It's not like I ain't been paying my bail. Da, da, da. I've been paying my bail all, all the time on time. Like, like uh, yeah, what's going to happen is you're going to go to court, and when you go to court, they're just going to release you from court. I went, to, I went to court. They did not release me from court. So then you were in the county for the first time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I'm in the county. When I'm in the county, they put a charge on me for conspiracy for robbery. And now I'm in the county for like two weeks. I'm in the county. I'm in 7-Eleven. Uh, I'm, I'm with a couple people. I'm with uh, Poppy from AFC. I'm with Nutty Boy from Brams. I'm with uh, some East Coast people. Uh, who was his name? And But tell me how you felt like your whole process for the first time. Because obviously it's completely different from like everything that you've experienced when you're actually getting processed, processed in. The I strip mean, search, I've all been, of that. I've been through, through the bail crime, uh, me bailing out, bailing out. I already knew like the whole process, like situations. Because it was times to where I didn't bail out until like three days or five days. Got and by it. that time I already had a bail roll and all the stuff. So it's like, you I already know knew. how it is. But like, this is the first time. I had to sit in there for a little bit. For and two I weeks. I only sat for two weeks because I ended up bailing out again. But I bailed, this time I bailed out on the million dollar bill. It was, I, it was like I said, and this is the reason why I said names because they actually see me bail out on a $1.2 million bill. Like, Tiny Mouse from East Coast, uh, uh, AFC, Poppy from AFC, uh, the Nutty Boy from Brams. Uh, who else was there? It was some people there. Uh, we get it. So yeah. you built out on a million dollar bail. And yeah. you thought you were all cool. You just wasted a penny. Hey, it I would just keep me in jail. You know what I'm saying? Let me do what I do. I'm going to have my money when I get out. This fool just literally wasted his money. I did. And it was the dumbest thing I ever did. It was for the dumbest, it was for the dumbest reason. like Because I didn't charge my ankle monitor. Like, I mean... Eventually, they was going to end up smacking that charge on me that they did. But at that time, I, I only know. wasted the money because of that. Like For sure. But, yeah, uh, I went there. I was, in, I was in there for, like, two weeks. And I was really, I was, I was like, thinking about if, if I should do it. Like, everybody in there telling me, like, if you, you got the money, then do it. Like, why would you just be sitting in here? Like, I'm like, man. But then other people was asked, telling me, like, well, what, what do they got you for right now? Mm -hmm. And at the time, it was I already had a robbery. A gun charge, a high speed chase, and now they were trying to hit me with this conspiracy. And uh but I had a lawyer and my lawyer was like good. And he was finna get me probation and two years with eighty five percent with the robbery being the main uh my main charge. I had to do eighty five percent because it was violent. So is that what you went to prison for, for that robbery? Yeah, I went to yeah, I, everything that I just said, the okay. I went end up going to prison for. And Tell us a little bit more about this robbery. Uh, yeah, so uh, the robbery uh, that the conspira that they hit me with with the, with the conspiracy was for a jewelry store. Oh, had, okay, the jewelry store that you said earlier. Mm -hmm, I had sent some uh, people in the jewelry store, and they ran in there with sludge hammers, duffel bags, and bopped, bopped the jewelry, get, came back, gave me all the jewelry. Got it, got it, got it. Because I've heard something about you robbing Mariah Carey's house. Oh yeah, I did that too. That was see, and that was that was what I was gonna get to. Ah, okay. Like after after this robbery, after this robbery, I went to jail and I bailed out on this million dollar bail. I was in there for two weeks. I bailed out on a million dollar bail. I had to drop like thirty thousand dollars, no forty thousand dollars, eleven co-signers and an ankle monitor. And I ain't gonna lie, my baby mama watched me do all of that. Like I left her with all that money, and to be honest, she she really could have ran off. Mm -hmm. Because in order for me to even do it, I had to give her my Instagram password. Oh. Because I only had five cosigners. Like it was her, the uh, the homie AC. He had like helped cosign my mom's, uh, uh, nail, some and like some, and I think it was her mom too. I only had like more story. I only had five cosigners, and I needed six more. Right. So. 
but I had like a following, like I had like forty thousand followers on Instagram. So I knew that if I if I got on Instagram and like posted like, hey, who will co-sign for me? Like I get anybody like five hundred dollars, like I give you a feature, like just co-sign for me. But I had to give her my Instagram password so I can get that. So I'm Why do in you the make county that face expression? Because I was really in the county asking the homies, like, hey, what, what should I do? Like, should I give her my Instagram password? Because if I give her my Instagram password, she going to see everything and go nuts. Oh. Like, and she messed around run off. She got my cars. She had my chains. She had my all my money. Like... And I'm I'm really thinking about this like man I, I don't know bro like I'm not finna and then she pregnant too so like oh no, like even worse dude, she she has a reason like I got your kid like you playing with my feelings you got me. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I'm thinking about rob this, this fool while he's in jail <laughs> <laughs> man. but like bro I gave it to her gave her my Instagram password <sighs> and she posted it and then uh she's like. I'm calling her, calling her, like, what's going on with the bail bonds? Like, what's up? Like, what's up with the co-signers? You finding co-signers? Yeah, I'm finding them. Like, I just found two right now. We need to get some more. Like, we need, like, four more. But I found two. They just signed the papers. Da-da-da. Oh, nice. It was going good, right? That, that initially, like, right? So I slept on it. And, you know, I called her the next day. So, as I'm asleep on it, uh-huh. she got all day. She got my Instagram password. So, like, and my, everybody posting, free me, free me, this, hitting her up. So, it's, it's ping, ping, pinging all day. So, she just, just just decided, like, I'm finna just go through this thing. Like, of course. Like, she just started going through mm-hmm. my phone. And, like, bro, one day I call. I call. And it's the next day. She's like, fuck you, nigga. Like, I'm running off. I hate you. I hope you die. Like, she's saying all type of stuff. Like, just, but like, she always be saying stuff and never be serious. Like, well, like, never fall through about it. Like, she's mm-hmm. she straight. Like, she solid. But like, um, she telling me all this. So I was like, scared. Like, damn. Uh, I'm, in there, I'm, home, and I'm like, bro, y'all I'm, I'm sick. I'm on bunk status. I'm sitting there. Homie's like, bro, y'all, you going to be straight, bro. Just keep calling her, bro. Like, as long as she like, answers, she's going to be all tell right. Tell her you sorry, bro. Like, tell her, like, you going give to her, give her 20, give her something to go do something. Like, bro, like, I'm like, bro, I don't know, bro. She hanging up. She's not answering the phone no more. I keep calling, like, the whole time while she's telling me, like, F you, da 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 da, she actually getting a job done. Like, she's getting the co signers for me. Like, she's getting me out. Yeah, she's doing she, her thing. She telling me, like, man, F you, da da da, she answered the phone. Like, then she, one time she answered the phone for like three days straight, but I really thought it was over. Like, <laughs> so I missed store. I had store from the last week, but I missed store because I was in there for two weeks. Like I said, I missed store. I'm like, oh my gosh, bro. Like, Oh, you were doing bad in there. I'm praying. And the, and the real reason, a real reason why, uh, Another reason why, like, I was able to get out, though, the uh, the people at the Bell Bonds knew me as a rapper. And then I had a, a, a Def Jam. They had sent me an email saying that they wanted to sign me. So I had my big mama show them, like, you feel me? Like, He's really on his shit. Yeah, like, I'm, you feel me? And they they went for that. Not that they went for it. They was messing with me. So I do, like, the third day I called my big mama. She, like, she answered the phone. She, like, what, like? Now she like kind of calmed down, but she's hot still. Yeah. She like talk to me like like why should I why should I bail you out? Da, 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 like, like fool because this is my shit. <laughs> man, I'm telling her everything. Man. I'm sorry. Like them bitches ain't shit. Fuck them bitches. Like, da, 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 you know I want you. You like this. She made everything. You know the man, jail talk vibes. Man. She's just telling me, like, man, when you get out, like, I'm only doing this. And I'm like, and I really, I'm telling her, like, look, I only want you to really build me up because, like, I'm finna have my daughter. Like, you finna just have me stuck in here? Like, you just gonna run off with all the bed and just, like, come on, my, my daughter finna be here in three months. Like, come on, build me up. Da, da, da. And you were still on some up. selfish shit. <laughs> man, bro, like, she ended up, but, yeah, like, she bailed me out, bro, like. She bailed me out out of nowhere. Like, they would call me, like, in the middle of the night, like, 2 in the morning, like, hey, Harris, come on, you going home, roll it up, da-da-da. So, uh, I came home, and I had, like, I had put money. I had, like I said, I put, like, 40 on the bill, and I had money to my lawyer. I came home with only, like, $20,000 left. I had my jury, had my cars. And, like, I'm like, dang, man, like, and I had her now, like, feeling different ways but like we still making it work and um for like the next my goal was like to just stay low with this 20 bands for like the next couple months and just 
just rapping, just stay dug until my daughter get here. But it got up into like May to where like I only had like five bands left and it was like, man, dude, like what am I gonna do? Yeah, like I had stuff to pay and all type of stuff. So like I ended up doing the Mariah Carey stuff. Like I did that and even when I did that I didn't even but wait, let me ask you, how did you find her at Carrie's house? Like, what? Like, tell me about the process of, you know what I'm saying? I can't tell you how I found the house. That's what I can't do. I mean, well, you know, tell me what the fuck made you, like, click, like, oh, I'm going to go rob Mariah Carey's house. I mean, it's like, I've been, now, remember, you told me, when was the first time I ever did something? I told you I was 12. Mm-hmm. At this time, I'm 19. So you've so, been doing this shit? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's like, my thing is, like, I'm only finna, I had crash dummies doing stuff for me i'm sending people in houses i'm sending people and stuff so it's you like, just already i didn't want to i if my thing was like if i'm finna bounce in it's finna be something worth it like as i'm i'm used to do homework i know where it's at like i know got it, got it, got it. my homework and i'm like if i'm finna bounce in some it's gonna be somewhere i know where it's at and i'm for me with mariah carey i'm like bro i'm not finna have no crash dummies do this that's mm-hmm. why i feel like i'm finna do this because i'm gonna make sure it's straight like and uh yeah, we did it. And even when we did it, like, we didn't even get caught. Like, and I, I, I ended up getting caught for something else and went to jail for that. And when I went to jail for that, then I was stuck. I went to jail May 8th, 2019, and I was stuck. But the Mariah Carey stuff, didn't, uh, they didn't hit me with that until, uh, well, first, I got to Wasco after being in the county for three months, you know, getting all the little... Uh, Wait, so you got around. busted in May, May 8th. for a different robbery? Yeah. Because you were already running low with money. Right. Okay. I, now, not, yeah, I, did, I got caught, like, basically, you could say somewhat on the scene, but, like, a little further down in the car type, they, they got up on us. But, uh... So that's yeah. after you bailed out your one your one point one whatever million. Uh, you were laying low. You trying to stay low so you don't, you know, you want to be there for the baby. You needed money. And you're like, fuck, I'm going to go do it again. And you get busted. Mm-hmm. Now that you can't, you have no bail anymore. Mm-hmm. Right, because they boosted it to like four. Yeah, million. you're like, yeah, yeah, it's not right. happening. You're there. You're fighting your case. You said for like three months. Yeah, three months in the county. Um, obviously, did you get any fights while you were in the county jail? A lot of them. I ain't gonna lie. Ask X Fo. He'll tell you. He seen me knock somebody out. He seen me knock my first, the first person I ever knocked out. He seen it. Like coming, coming back from court. It was, what was his name? Like. Uh, takeoff, Tiny Takeoff from Insane. I was called by somebody named Tiny Takeoff from Insane and uh, Lil Fly from Insane. The uh, first dude, I knocked him out, parked him on the bar. She slid down the bar. They ended up picking him up, laying him down on, on the thing. And, and through this, well, your three months, you were going to court, you still had your paid lawyer or not anymore? Yeah, I still had him. He was just coming to court from the streets. Okay. And your baby mama was still visiting you. She was still there. She was putting money in your books. Well, she wasn't visiting me. Uh, I I ended up getting her in some stuff, too, because she had a warrant for her name. So she really couldn't come. Okay. You know? So you didn't get to see your baby while she was born, either. I seen her, like, I was getting pictures. I was getting pictures. Uh, when I got to the pen, you know, I had a phone, so I was always FaceTiming her every day. Okay. So as soon as you got to the pen, you were... Okay, so you get sentenced. What did you get sentenced for? Uh, what was it like? The so he and uh, I ended up getting uh, the one of the burglaries dropped. The one that I ended up getting stuck for, I ended up uh, getting that drop. And uh, he got. I did a robbery. Uh, I had a robbery, a high speed chase, and a gun charge. The robbery was at a uh, LAX airport. The gun charge was at a Long Beach. And then the uh, burglary was out of, no, the high-speed chase was out of, uh, like, Long Beach, too, because it was, like, Lakewood area. And uh, he got all those three cases ran concurrent. I took two at 85 with a strike. I took the strike for mm. the robbery. So I got those three cases ran concurrent. And then they gave me an additional two years for catching my crime out on bail. So mm. that turned from two with eighty five to four with eighty five, oh. and then I had my lawyer for those cases. For the last, for the last case that that I had, for the other two cases I had, like I said, the deal was to get to dismiss one of them, and then I pled it to another two years, but it was consecutive. 
Mm. So that's what gave me six years with 85%. Got it. Which, and 85% of that was like four years, eight months. So that's what, that's the total time you ended up doing, four years. Four years, eight months. Four years, eight months. Yeah. Okay. And where did you go right when you left the county? Uh, Wasco. Wasco. Reception. Okay. How was that experience for you getting there? Uh, well, Obviously, it's different. Yeah, it was very different from the county. Uh, when I when I got to as soon as and then for me too, it was automatic like some straight BS. As soon as I got there, as soon as I got there, I wasn't even there for twenty four hours. I got there, I got my barrel by like six o'clock p.m. Got my barrel and I went to sleep, and they was waking me up like four o'clock in the morning telling me that detectives wanted to talk to me, and it was for the Mariah Carey. <gasps> like the same, the first day I got to reception. Like like I, like I said, we didn't get caught like on the mm-hmm. streets and none of that booked. I was already in jail for some other stuff and then it came to me. When it came to me, the detective was like asked me, like, hey, have you ever been to Mariah Carey's house? I'm like, What? Who was that? He was like, Mariah Carey, you don't know Mariah Carey? I'm like, I don't know who Mariah Carey is, like, she like the singer. I'm like, only singers I know is Beyonce. I know Beyonce. <laughs> You're stupid. I know, I know Rihanna, <laughs> like work, work, work. Like, like I'm Yeah, I'm yeah, saying, yeah. I'm just being BS but like he like, well, uh... I mean, work, 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 I think is Rihanna. Right, right, right. That's why I said I know Rihanna. I know okay. Beyonce, Rihanna. <laughs> but I told her, uh, I told him, like, yeah, bro, like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he was like, well, um, your uh, DNA was found left at a crime scene, uh, and it was at Mariah Carey's house, and uh, we need a, a DNA sample. And if uh, this sample comes back to match the, the DNA, then uh, you're going to have a warrant for your name. I was like, well, where's the warrant? Like, where's the warrant to even get this sample? Talking about, I'm going to have a warrant after this sample. Like, I'm not going to do that. And he pulled out the warrant. He had a, he had a warrant. So, uh, yeah, they just swallowed me. And then, but nothing ended up popping up for like a whole three years and a half. Mind you, I did four years, eight months. So, while nothing's pop, I'm when I went, like I said, this is the first time, as soon as I hit the pen. Yes. The first day. They didn't even, like, it wasn't even, 24, even 24 hours. hours. Like, I'm thinking this. This is some straight BS. I'm like, oh, I don't know what's going on with this. Like, but after them not hitting me up, I'm going to different yards and counselors. I'm like, do I have a warrant? Do I have a warrant? Do I have a warrant? Nah, nah, nah. So I'm like, I'm smooth. Like, yeah, you thought straight. it was like nothing. Mm-hmm. Until uh, they end up getting it late later on down the road. But so let's talk about your prison experience, and then we'll. I want to ask Mariah Carey um, questions. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you get to you get to Wasco or like how many prisons did you go to in those three years or four years I should say Wasco I went to Wasco I went to CRC uh, I went to Corcoran and then I went to Delano okay tell me um, about tell me a little something about not Delano Uh, uh, what's the one in San Diego Uh, the the Calipat no, no, it's in San Diego. Oh, uh, shit. What is it called? Right. I don't know. But you went to San Diego. Tell me a little bit something about each prison that you went to. Mm. CRC, well, Wasco is a reception center, so it's really not much. You could just only go to the store, like, uh, once a month, and uh, well, that's what you do anyway, but once a month. But you can't go the full, uh, like, 290 that you could go. Uh, you can only go like one something in reception, and then you can only get phone calls once a month. Okay. So like, reception is like a time where it's like you dependent really on letters. So if you got like a strong family out there, like homies, your girl, really your girl, you really only want like letters from your girl. You telling her to send you pictures of your your daughter, your of her, and just she supposed to be the one doing it anyway. Like, mm-hmm. so. But she was there. Yeah, she was there. Oh, nice. Okay. She was uh, sending me letters. I had a whole bunch. Like, every week, I was always hitting. Like, she was always sending me letters, sending pictures of my daughter, writing me, letting me know what's going on. I had money on my books. Like, she was there. She was straight. Like, she helped, like, as far as, like, putting money on my books and stuff like that, she was straight. She did her shit. Well, that's good. At least, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he said, mm-hmm. So then from there, where'd you go? Uh, From Wasco, I went to CRC. Um, And CRC was, like, flooded, like... That's why I say it was it was easy, real easy to get a phone. Like I just got a phone when I got there, and then uh, 
Yeah, I was out there running amok. Like you could see everything I was doing there, like at on YouTube. Like I was. Oh, you were posting. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, how much? How much did you have to buy the phones for? Uh, like the first one I got, like it was since it was flooded at that time, it was like seven hundred. Oh, cheap. It was easy, like seven hundred. And mind you, I'm already getting two ninety on my books every month. I'm already getting packages for like four fifty, like a phone for seven hundred. Easy, like that was nothing, like. So, um, I got the phone, and I had it. My first phone, I only had it for like three months, and then we got caught. And as soon as I got, as soon as that got snatched, literally the next day, I had another phone. Ah, so you were okay for sure. You were okay, and you were rapping in there. Um, you were eating good. You mm -hmm. had the best of the best. So you thought you were all. You, so you've always been fresh. Mm -hmm. Like, always. So he said always. always so always. obviously when you feel fresh, always, you always carry yourself in a different, you know, a different manner. Yeah. Uh, more people kind of like you. Um, some don't like you just because the way you are. You know, people hate on that as well. Because men, I don't care what anybody says. Men fucking see each other. Men judge. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, look at this food. He thinks he's a pretty boy ass food. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I bet you, huh? <laughs> yes, I get that all the time. All the time. The homies be hating, though. And um, so, did you have what was like the worst thing you? Tell me about your. Tell me about your celly. Did you get along with your cellies? At CRC, there was no cellies. It's oh, dorm. no cellies in there. So it's you're by yourself. Oh, a, dorm living. Yeah. How was dorm living for you? Um, it it had its perks and it had its downs, like because like I was able to make a killing, like money. Man, CRC was like it's like a big college. Like it wasn't like a regular prison to where it's like you're really only subject to like your yard or your or your 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 dorm. Like CRC, like I can walk out the two side and go to the go to a whole nother yard. Got and, it. Like walk around and network. Like so, yeah, you was able to make a killing. So. And you were rapping and you were doing your YouTube shit and yeah, I was rapping. You could, I was making uh, music videos up in there, they on YouTube and uh, fights, posting fights on there. And oh like, wow! I, got, I gotta go watch. Yeah, I got even. It's like even videos, just me on live and cooking food, all different types of stuff. Tell me about what you used to cook in there. What was your favorite spread? Uh, rice bowls. Rice bowls. I was bowls. big on my rice bowls. Rice bowls with the mackerel, with the sausages on there, mm. with the uh, orange chicken on top. The orange chicken, y'all know about the orange chicken. No, tell us about the orange chicken. The How orange did you chicken? make your orange chicken? Well, I, I can't eat it no more because it's pork, but I used to, it was pork rinds. Pork rinds with, uh, you put jelly and you put like uh, uh, sweet and hot, mm -hmm. sweet and hot. And you put like a Kool-Aid, like a, like a, like a, like a, like an orange Kool-Aid and you like, Mix it all up, mix it all up to where it's like you don't want it soggy, but you want it like kind of like kind of soggy, like chewy kind of. Mm -hmm. You so like first you put the you put the rice, you feel me, and then you let the rice sit to where it blow up, and then you just chop up whatever vegetables you put it in there. You feel me? Your onions, your pickles. Because you're able to buy vegetables. Yeah. What? What? I mean, I don't I know. What I'm asking. I had, I, oh, there's phones. So how you not? Can you? How you can't get vegetables? Like I had avocados and tomatoes and all type of stuff. Like, but you just chop whatever you want and put it in there, and then you throw your meat on top. And then you throw no more chicken on top, throw your sauce on top, mm. and then that's your rice bowl. You just, you feel me? I used to work out and then smack a rice bowl and just be cool, like. Mm. <laughs> and you just be chilling on the phone for the rest of the night. Yeah. You just know. So. You just chilled. Mm hmm. I was kicking it. I was really. So right there, you didn't have no sellies. After that, after that, where, did you, where else did you go? Um. After that, I went to, from CRC, I went to the hole. And then after I went from the hole, they boosted my points up. And what did then, you go for to the hole for? Uh, because I was a, it was for a lot of stuff though. I okay. was for a failure to program because first of all, I had like three phone write ups. Then after that, I had fight write ups because I was posting fights and they were catching this fight. And then, but they kept giving me cancer because I had YOP anyway. First of all, what is I YOP? Was a, I was a level three on a two yard because first of all, our YOP is if you catch your charges under the age of like 21 or something like that or 23, then uh, it's called youth offender program. Got it. And like they, it's like stuff to like help you get out faster. So. um yeah, they had, I, I had YOP, I had level three points, but I was on level two because they overrided me. And then, um, yeah, so I when I'm getting three phone write-ups, fight write-ups, back-to-back, like... They're like, oh, we got to put this fool in the hole for a yeah. second. Let, him, let his ass calm down. Yeah, and the last thing, the, the final thing that uh, 
the final thing that uh that happened that ended up getting me kicked out was a fight. I ended up getting somebody, you feel me, mm -hmm. doing my stuff, but I ended up going to the hole for that. I was in the hole for like like four months. How did you survive the hole? Because you're used to living a certain way. Yeah. You feel I like mean, you were dying even, or what? Even not in the hole, like they gave me a little ri a wind up radio. I was at Chino. Okay. They gave me a, a wind up radio. You got your little headphones. I uh, had a Bible in there and uh, like some little magazines and stuff. Uh, I was still getting letters from my family. Like the only people that really knew I was in the hole was my mama, my auntie, and my baby mama, and then like the homie Justin. And uh, so you had love throughout your whole, your whole time. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It definitely helps. And but I was also too like making my own money. Like I was sending my money to the homie Yada. Having him hold my money on Cash App, sending money to my auntie, sending money to my baby mama, like you I were was, okay. I had my own stuff, like, but also they was if I needed, they would support me too. And shout out to Omar too, like he was rocking with me the whole time. That's my jeweler, like one of my jewelers. He owned the Blue Moon. You feel me? Like he was. That's my we boy. Glory here. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we mess with Glory. We mess with Glory. Forest Glory too, man. Shout out to Forest Glory, man. He the reason. He one of the reasons why I'm up in here right yes. now. Yes. So like, uh, shout I'm, out I'm to just kidding. Shout out to Omar. Yeah. Shout out to. Omar. Um. Okay. So. So yeah. So tell me. So you you get out of the hole and you go where? Uh. After I left the hole, I went to Corcoran. You went to the court. You went to Corcoran. Yeah, and I was there for like, probably like eight months. To, yeah, like eight months, and then my points dropped, and then they sent me to Donovan. Okay. And that's where I was. I was at Donovan for my last like year, and like my last like year, three months. Okay. I finished it at Donovan. Okay. Uh, so throughout this the whole time, you still haven't had no sellies. Uh, at Corcoran, yeah, I okay. did. Yeah, my uh, one of the sellies I had was the homie Ronnie. He did all my tattoos, like everything, like all this, like. Everything. Ronnie. Yeah, he did all my tattoos. So he's a good artist, Ronnie. Yeah. Shout out to Ronnie. Yeah, shout out to Ronnie, man. Um, how was that? How was Corkin? Because I heard Corkin is kind of intense. Corkin, yeah, but it was like kind of dry, like where I was at, like. You mean dry, like you weren't able to do what you wanted, kind of vibe? Well, because like people didn't have no money, like. Got it. Like, I don't like being around that. Like I was like when I was at CRC, people had money to spend. I got to Corkin. And I was mad because I had to sell my phone, and I went to Corcoran, and they had phones, and they was going for the high, but I had the money to buy it. Like, it was been plenty of times. I was supposed to buy a phone for 4500 and five bands, and people like, oh, I'm going to sell it to you, I'm going to sell it to you. Then and they never come, did. And they never did because they secretly hate it, and they know it's dry, though. But I understand, though, because, like, when it's dry, you want to hold on to what you got. Yes. And right there, it was dry. Like, it was so yeah, you didn't like you didn't like yeah, Corcoran for nah. those little eight months that you were there or whatever. Right. And you said you went to Donovan. I went to Donovan for the rest of your time. Mm -hmm. How was that? <laughs> Donovan was cool. There was a lot of stuff going on at Donovan. Donovan was just tell us shocking, crazy, most crazy. Tell tell me about the craziest. Uh, when I got I got to Donovan, um, and uh, when I got there, it was uh, this dude named B. Rowling. He was from Sac. He was older, like forty some years old. And, Chill, uh, I'm not that old fool. <laughs> 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 well, I'm 20 something. So, I know, you know, I get. I'm just talking shit. Because uh, <laughs> I'm in my 40s, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 40s not that bad, you know. It's yeah, switch it up, like. switch it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I got to Donovan. It was somebody named B. Rowling. Uh, he from up north and. Uh, when I got there, he had me in a, a, a magazine. I'm, I'm in a kite magazine. And uh, he was like, hey, bro, like, you look like this dude I know up in this magazine. I'm like, uh, well, first, no, it didn't go like that. I got there, I'm like, hey, because they opened their cell for me to go up in there. He's like, hey, where you from? I'm from Long Beach, bro. Call me Cinco, bro. I'm from Brick Boys. Like, All right, bro, I'm from SAC, bro. Like, go ahead, come up, come on. He let me up in here. And then it dawned on him. He was like, hey, bro, you look like somebody up in here that I know, like, named Cinco. And he showed me the magazine. I'm like, oh, yeah, that is me, bro. He's like, oh. you're lying, bro. You're, <laughs> you're lying. all happy. I would have like, been super happy. He like, he, he was happy. He's like, bro, you lying, bro. You lying, bro. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, bro, that's me, bro. Like, so I pulled out my pictures. I'm like, bro, look. Because my hair, at the time, I was growing my hair, too. My my face was a little fuzzy. So it's like he didn't, but I showed him my pictures. 
He was like, oh, dang, that's crazy, bro. Like, the homies was just talking about you right now. Like, damn, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, who's here? Like, he was like, hey, bro, like, Suge Knight up here. Like, I'm like, Suge up here? Like, oh, shit, that's pretty intense. Man. Suge he Knight? Like, he was like, I don't yeah. even want to be close to that man. <laughs> hey, you're all, take me closer. <laughs> man, I heard, I'm like, bro, what's up? What's up with Suge? Like, yeah. He like, yeah, Suge Knight up here. I'm like, bro, you lying, bro. He like, yeah, bro. Like, if you want, bro, I'll introduce you to him tomorrow, bro. Like, and I'm like, all right. So, like, next day, we was going to chow. And then, uh, I can't remember if, if it was that day, or if we seen him or if it was the next, like, day after. But I know we seen him, like, going to chow in the morning because they let out all the, uh, they let out all the buildings. And when they let us out, I'm spinning with B, I'm spinning with the homie B rolling. And he was like, yep, oh, there you go, right there. There you go, Suge. And I seen him. I'm trying not to be off. And, uh, uh, goofy and shit, yeah. Cool because I'm, people on the yard know me, too. They're like, oh, is Cinco here? Mm -hmm. da, da, da. So, like, so he probably already got word, too. Yeah, no, nah, he did. Like, he did. Like, he was telling me, like, yeah, he, he know you here. Like, he heard about you, bro. Da, 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 da. And then uh, uh, he like, yeah, there you go right there. And then he said, what's up to him? And then he introduced me, like, hey, bro, like, Cinco right here, man. He's like, oh, what's up, man? How you doing, man? I'm like, I'm good, bro. Like, what's up with you, man? You good? You straight? He's like, yeah, like, I'm good. Like, you, you haven't, you got, uh, if you ever need to talk to me, like, you can holler at me. I'm out here. Like, we just kept it real short. Like, it's finished. Nothing, yeah. Because, like, anyway, you got, it's, you have to just keep it walking anyway. Like, yeah. You get your child, you go, come back out, you spin back to your building. So then, uh, yeah, like, from that day forth, like, I'm like, ooh, like, I'm finna get plugged in. Like, this Suge Knight right here. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. for real, like, the owner of Death Row, Suge Knight, like, Tupac, Snoop Dogg. For like, sure. Suge, like, mm -hmm. I'm like, finna get plugged in. So, uh, after, like, a couple, like, a couple weeks, uh, spin a yard with, with Suge, like, he like, yeah, bro, like, uh, I told him, like, hey, man, I be rapping, like, bro, like, what's up, like, man, like, what's up, like, would you mess with me? Like, mess with your boy, man. He like, I'll mess with you, bro. Like, da -da -da -da. like, and some, like, with Suge, like, about Suge, he got, like, people call it, like, the gift of God. But, like, he has, like, a, a presence to where, like, when he talk, when he talk to you, he make you feel, like, real special. Like, like, you feel like, like, you, like, worth something. Like, you could be something. You feel me? Like, and, uh, one day, uh, I was rapping to, I had rapped him a song. I had a song called Press Play. And, uh, I had rapped him that song. And when I was rapping it to him, he like, he like, bro, like, pause. Like, hold on. Like, you ain't even gotta, you ain't even gotta rap the rest of that. Like, that's, that's dope. Like, that's hard. Like, he like, yeah, you got talent, youngster. Like, you just gotta keep it going. Like, the, like, depend how bad you want it. Like, you know, like, you gotta be serious about it. I'm like, man, I'm serious. Like, for real. Like, da 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 Like, and, like, throughout the time, like, we used to always just, like, where Suge used to always be. I don't know if he still do it. Most likely 10 times out of 10 years. But he be at the bars, you feel me, where the work hard bars be, like, you feel me. And he be chopping it up with all the old OGs. And he be still working out, doing his little workouts and telling his little stories and stuff. So, like, I built a relationship with, with him throughout the couple of months talking to him and stuff. And it, it was times, you know, a couple of conversations we had that, well, a lot of conversations we had that, like, threw me for all the floor loop. But, like, some 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 conversations we had, like, every time people used to ask him about, like, Tupac or something, I already didn't, like, ask him about Tupac because, like, to me, that's, like, some groupy, like, fanned out type stuff. I wasn't worried about that. I'm worried about getting plugged in. Like, yeah, fuck what the I'm fuck worried you about did. Me, it's like, not about me. For real. Like, he, he used to tell me stuff. Like, he, I do stuff that reminds him, remind me, he, ah, I remind him of Tupac. Like, he used to tell me stuff like that. And uh, when people used to ask him about Tupac, though, like, he used to just, like, laugh. Like, or not really answer the questions mm -hmm. or like try to avoid it like people used to act but people used to ask some dumb stuff you know the little conspiracies and stuff like that like, like was it you was it because of you kind of vibes yeah normal yeah, shit stuff like that like no and even dumber stuff like that that the because of you it wasn't because of you I, I mean that's a good question and that's like a, a real good question but uh as far as like other stuff as like oh there's Tupac in Cuba my like <laughs> 
<laughs> stuff like that, like, you know, but uh yeah, and then like one day um we was talking about music and then uh my counselor called me and told me I had a warrant. After all this time, it was for the stuff that happened with Mariah Carey. And this was after a couple of months that I was already at Donovan. You know, I didn't already get to know Suge. We didn't have multiple conversations. So uh, I, I told him, like, hey, bro. And the only reason why I even told him anything is because Nick Cannon is doing a documentary on Suge Knight. And I don't know if he's done with it or whatever, but it was about, you know, how Suge was being treated in there and stuff they was doing to him and, like, how, you know, it is uh, him being in there, a celebrity being in there. And he was doing a documentary on that. And the homie B. Rowland, was, he was telling me, he was like, yeah, bro, like, yeah, Suge be up, he be coming into the visual room, da 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 And I seen him in the, in the room with with uh, Nick. Nick Cannon. I'm like, oh, yeah, they, they got the cameras out and all that, like, so... I asked, I told him, like, hey, bro, like, you know I got a warrant, bro. Like, I got a warrant for my arrest, bro. He's like, yeah, I know. I'm like, I didn't say anything, but I'm thinking he just fast talking. He hit me with the, yeah, I know. Like, what? Like, I'm telling him, like, yeah, I got a warrant for my arrest, bro. Like, he like, yeah, talk to me, though. Like, talk to me. I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, they trying to say I burglarized Mariah Carey house, bro. Like, I, I don't know nothing about that, though. But, like, I'm I'm trying to, like, get rid of this, though. Like, Hey, holla, holla, holla at Nick for me, bro. Like, tell Nick to get him a ride, bro. Like, to get this, get this net. He said, I could, bro. I could do that for you. Matter of fact, I got you. Next, oh. He's like, next visit, I'm going to have an answer for you. Oh, like, nice. Bro, I, you don't, do you know how happy I'm, you don't, do you know how I'm feeling? Like, super happy. No, no, no. Do you, not, not, not happy. I'm feeling like Big Meech or something. <laughs> I'm feeling like Rick Ross. I just told Suge Knight to get at Nick Cannon to tell Mariah to drop the case. I oh, love that. I, I feel love like, that. I feel like I'm a joint. Like, he talking about he going to get it done. It's facts. So, like, I'm happy. I'm like, yeah, like, you feel me? You went back to, oh, you were like, oh, even man. I ain't worried about nothing. Like, you feel me? I ain't worried about nothing. Like, it, man, it's all good. I need to run. Yeah, yeah, this was an issue. This one got me. You got me. And then, uh, like, next week, like, the next, literally, the next week, he got answer from me, like, he like, yeah, like, we uh, we working on that. We gonna get it done, but, like, I want to talk to you about some stuff because, like, I could I could do that for you. That's that's very big, though, like, but, uh. What are you gonna do for me? Right, like, what are you gonna do for me? Like, <laughs> He like, what are you gonna do for me, man? Like, where, where, where I'm gonna come in at it? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, we, could, we could talk, bro, cause I'm, I'm already interested in messing with Shug, but I'm like, we could talk, bro. Like, you already supposed to be plugging me with some people, like, mm -hmm. when I get out, like, what's the deal, bro? Like, come on, make it make sense. All right, we gonna spend, we gonna spend. So like, throughout the like next couple of weeks, we spending talking about different stuff, and uh, uh. One day, uh, so I asked him, I said, so we, we spending, it's like uh, during uh, canteen time. We just eating, it's hot, one of them hot days. We just eating ice cream, spinning, talking. And uh, we just talking about music. He was like, yeah, like, he was just telling me, like, the difference, what well, he thought the difference between Tupac and Biggie Smalls. He was like, yeah, man, it's the difference between uh, a superstar and a star. He like Tupac was a superstar. He said you you carry like superstar air uh, or aura to you like you you just got that energy of a superstar. And the reason why I say like you know like um, the difference between Tupac and Biggie is Biggie being a star and, and uh, Tupac being a superstar. He was explaining like Tupac could go somewhere and just you know. He could just take off his shirt and he don't even gotta say nothing and they already ah screaming like Biggie didn't have that he didn't have that presence like you know and he was like so like when I see you in here you working on your body you working out you out here working on your craft you trying to make sure your delivery is right da -da -da -da. like your whole how you coming is like remind me of Tupac like and he was telling me stuff like that like 
it, to me, I'm thinking like he's just trying to butter me up. But I'm also like listening though, because what he said mm-hmm. is what I'm doing. You're not though. dumb, obviously. Like, actually, what he see, he's seeing actually what I'm doing. I'm doing that everything he just he's said. Paying attention to you. He's paying attention. So he like um, he like yeah though like, and like uh, and we just talk start you know talking about music, and I was you know asking him like you know like just different stuff like. You know how how it feel to come come like come to this like you know, and he like man I don't let it get to me man I done did so much stuff da, 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 da. I done seen so much stuff like I know music like my backhand da, 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 da. like I was like man I know I believe you man like that you need, you don't have to over explain stuff to me like mm-hmm. it, the proof is in the pudding like he was like yeah and it's crazy like nowadays it's easier he like but the stuff the stuff you got to do is still the same. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, like, I know it's easier. We got all this Instagram technology, but like, what you mean, like, the stuff you got to do is still the same? Like, yeah, bro, like, I'm gonna keep it a stack. Like, the the people that's running this stuff and all that, like, it's, it's it, it get it get wicked. Like, it get dark. Like, he said Ew. he got straight. He being straight up, like, honest. Like, he like, yeah, like back up. Like in the day, back in the day, you used to gotta sell your soul. Like, and you you still you still got to. Oh. It's just straight words. Do you think he and sold his soul? He didn't say that he sold his soul. I'm just telling you what he said. He said okay. back in the day you used to have to sell your soul, bro, and you still do. And I'm like, dang, that's crazy. But he did point at other people telling me that they sold their soul, but like uh like he telling me like uh I'm like, what you mean you gotta sell your soul? Like he like, bro, like if you wanna get to where you wanna go, like I'm telling you, you got talent. But if you really want to get to that next level, 500,000 a show, 300,000 a show, like really up there, you got to you got to sell out. He was like, and I'm and you see my face expressions and all that. He was like, "Uh, your uncle did it?" Like, your uncle did it. I'm like, yeah, Snoop did it." And he's like, I'm like, and when I looked, I'm like, "What?" He then he asked about my auntie. He like, "Oh, how Shantae? Like, cause I'm looking at him stupid. Cause he trying to like, you feel me? Throw like, throw stuff on Snoop. Like, yeah, Snoop did it. And I'm completely unaware about what he about to tell me. And he's like, oh, so was Shantae. And I'm like, well, I'm I'm wondering like, how you know that? Cause Shantae is my auntie and Snoop Dogg married my auntie. And you know, they had kids. So like Corey, Cordell, Corday, like them really my cousins. Your cousins. I'd be at the compound and all that. Like I played for the Snoop League. I got That's pictures. your family. He's really my family. So. But I'm, I'm wondering how he's noticed, like, uh, you know. But uh, I mean, when he told me that, I was just, and then he tried to hit me with the oh how Shantae to like try to throw it, like, I'm like, oh yeah she good, da, da, da. but I like what you mean Snoop Dogg did that, bro? Like what are you talking about? He's like, look man, look go when you go back to your cell, go watch Murder Was the Case, go watch the music video Murder Was the Case. I'm like, all right, bet I got you. And bro, I went back to the cell. I mind you at this time, I ain't had no celly. Go back to the cell, bro, had my phone, and I go watch the video. And I was like, bro, I had so many questions after I watched that video. Like Well shit, I'm gonna have to go home I'm gonna have to go home and watch the video too. You never seen I mean I watched the video, but I mean I don't know what I'm supposed to look for. I just watched the video. If you watch the video, you don't even have to look for anything. It's just, if, I, if, if I got some keys and I'm like, look for my keys, and I'm like this. Okay. I'm just going to be like, where's the keys, babe? <laughs> <laughs> they right there. You ain't got to look. But I watched the video and I'm like, whoa, this is wicked. This is crazy. What? Like... He ain't never just throw my uncle under the bus like that. Like, what you mean, Snoop? Like, oh, mm-hmm. man, I had so many questions, bro. Like, so I went, uh, I wasn't trying to, like, run him off, though, because, like, I was, I still need him to get rid of this case. For like, sure. I'm still trying to mess with him. He got plugs. I'm supposed to get out. He was telling me from the song that I had rapped to him, he was telling me, like, he was going to link me with people on the streets and, you know, I was going to sign a deal and all type of stuff. So, like... Man, like, I still wanted to plug. Like, you feel me? I, mind you, I'm already rapping. So for somebody, for me to come out and do that and, like, go mm-hmm. up, like, it's a look, right? So, yeah, after that video, I came, like, went back to the yard. I was like, man, I, I, this was, my whole thing was to, like, really ask him who was behind that. Like, 
And that's what I asked him. I said, hey, bro, like, who was behind that video, bro? Was it was it you or was it Snoop? He was like, it was me, bro. He was like, he signed to me. Mm-hmm. He signed to Death Row. He's like, what do you think Death Row is about? Death Row, you, this is until you die. This is what Death Row is about. Like, that's what it was about. And I was like, dang, bro, like... He was like, yeah, and that's what, that's what you'll have to do. Sell if yourself. you really want to, yeah, like, you got to sell yourself, bro. He's like, that's what you want to do. That's what you'll have to do to really get to that next level. And he's like, if you want to, uh, I'm still tapped in with the people. Like, you could, like, you feel me? And, like, How did in you my, feel? my position, I'm in a position where I feel like I kind of have to do this because <gasps> it's like, first, I'm looking at it like, all right, boom, I miss my daughter's birth. I'm in here. I already got two strikes. They just try to hit me with a Mariah Carey case. It's a high-powered case. And it's like, if he could just make it go away, and then and then I'm finna get out and sign and blow up, like, man, come on. Like, I'm finna put my family on. I'm finna do my shit. And I ain't gonna lie. Like, I told my mama. I told my baby mama. I told the homie Justin. I told, I told the homie Cam. I told Highhead. I told, I told homies. I'm like, look, bro, I'm going through some stuff right now. I'm on the yard with this nigga Suge Knight. But on the dead homies, everything gonna be good, bro. Trust me, bro. Like, I'm really. What's that? my soul. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm finna be plugged in, bro. Like on my mama, bro. Like it's, it's, it's all good, bro. Like, bro, but I can't, I can't, I'm not finna be calling in, bro. I'm not finna be talking to y'all, talking to nobody for, like, a little bit, bro. I'm not, you feel me, finna be on this phone. I ain't calling nobody for, like, three months. Like, you went through it? Man, I ain't call nobody. They'll tell you. I just went in my head. I didn't call nobody. And, uh, like, yeah, so he was telling me, like, yeah, he was behind that video. And, uh. I was like, you know, thinking about it, thinking about it. But like I said, the the my end decision was to see go through and see what he was talking about. So I'm like, all right, I'm with it. Like, you feel me? He was like, look, there's some stuff you're gonna do, there's some stuff you're gonna say, there's some stuff that you're gonna have to do when you get out. But for now, this is what you do. Like, he said like a prayer over me and like and like told me to like, repeat stuff and then like had me write I had to go like write everything that I wanted on a paper and then I had to say like certain words and stuff like that but I wrote everything on the paper I'm like don't say them <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not repeat it but I had to write I wrote certain words everything I wanted like and I had to be real specific because he was telling me like to be real specific like cause everything that I put is gonna come so I'm but like I wanna be a billionaire. Like I want platinum hits. I want diamond hits, diamond albums. Woo do do I want power. I want Not even health. Huh? Not even health. I'm I'm you I'm just getting started what I'm asking for. <laughs> so I wanna I wanna live until I'm like mm-hmm. ninety, hundred, like I wanna power, fame, control, like ask for all different type of stuff, but really putting it on everything I'll put on the paper. And say the same stuff that he said and you know Basically, just calling on the devil type. <gasps> Keep it stacked. Mm-hmm. And, and then, like, literally, bro, like, literally, like, <laughs> when I say, like, the devil, like, is real. Like, oh, it like, is. And if when you get tap, when you get to trying to tap in with stuff like that spiritually, when you get to seeking God or you get to seeking stuff, you going you get to you gonna find what you're seeking for, like. And then like on top of that, like, and and it's some, it's real crazy though because like, and I I knew what I'm dealing with was real, like some real stuff because if any. When you think about selling your soul, like, and if I just told you to go write something and just call on the devil, da, 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 right? Like, you you probably couldn't just go do that by yourself. But, like, if somebody's just been doing this for 30 years, been doing this, like, they are, this is what they do. They're devil worshipers. They're, they're tapped in. This is what they do. Mm-hmm. Like, he had me saying stuff, say, he's saying prayers over me. Like, bro, like, this is rituals and all different type of, you feel me? So, like... When you when you're around somebody that's tapped in and did it to that stuff, then for sure you can 
get involved with that but like just trying to and that's the reason why people try to say like oh this may be a conspiracy and it's, it's to throw people off so you so you don't think this is real but it's very real if you look at the music it is it's very satanic it's very and and, and even before i go on right i asked them i forgot to tell y'all this i asked them about tupac when concerning concerning this whole stuff because after he told me about Snoop Dogg doing it, and I seen the video, and like, I mean, in my eyes, yes, he did it. You watch the video, and y'all watch the video, and y'all tell me what y'all think. But, like, I asked him about Tupac because I, I started searching some more, and I seen Tupac, uh, he got a, a, a album called Illuminati, mm -hmm. Kill Illuminati. And, you know, with the Illuminati, they whole little stuff is mm -hmm. a one world government, evil, evil, da 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 And, you know, uh, Tupac, you know, when he first came out, he was on some uh, West Coast riding, sliding, da 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 Well, not when he first came out. He was, you know, mm -hmm. intelligent. You know, he's very intelligent. His people are the Black Panthers and all that. But, like, he converted on some West Coast, for me, sliding type stuff. And then once he started seeing that it was not the route that he was supposed to be taking and doing this after getting shot and all the different stuff. Then he comes out with an album called Illuminati, and he's exposing stuff and he's having interviews and he's uh, exposing stuff and he's telling the truth. And like, I studied that, I was watching that, I was watching stuff like that. And then for it to be happening to me firsthand is real scary. It was scary to me. Like I was like, bro, this is crazy, but like, we finna go through with this So I asked him I said like What's up with Tupac Like Why Why he start Why he make that Illuminati Like what? Like He like Man he start Going against the grain mm. And he like He start going against the grain Trying to expose And you see what happened to him And Like That's all he said Like He left it at that You see what happened to him I didn't Furthermore and You were like I'm not even gonna touch that anymore Man I'm from the streets I know what's going on I, bro, I, you see what happened to him? Come on, you signed, you signed this dude, and he signed a death row, and, and he's supposed to be pushing this agenda. He get to going against that, and now you, is messing up money, is messing up stuff. You, you know, people are they're worth more when they're dead. Mm hmm So. That's what happened. You see what happened to him? Yes. I am saying what uh, I had to repeat, and then. Um, like the devil like pulled up on me like and it, it ain't no person it ain't no it was like a spirit but you could like it was like you could really hear it like it's like me talking to you mm -hmm. and it's very it was made very clear and even if you look in a bible you have instances like that happening over and over and over I so believe if, you know if God allows that to happen to you then that's just what happened that's your path right so that happened to me he telling me stuff like yeah you asking me for all this and like what am I going to get like uh, you got to like make what are you going to sacrifice to me because I'm you're going to bring me you're bringing I'm bringing you stuff bring you everything I want everything you want like I, I need stuff I need stuff too I need it in return I'm like well what do you want like yeah, well, he asked he asked for my daughter like on some disturbing type stuff I'm like what the fuck get like what are you talking about like, and, and I'm serious, this is, like, no joke. No, like, I believe you. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, nah, that's out, like. And then he started, like, he's like, nah, like, you asking me for stuff? Like, I want I want stuff, too. Like, this is what you got to do. Da, 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 da. Like, he was like, you know what? Uh, Go home, you know, uh, get your baby mama pregnant, and she going to die in a car crash. Like, <gasps> you go, I, like, what's up? I want her. I'm like, what you mean get her pregnant? She don't like what are you talking about? She she like he like, yeah, like, you know, like I need I need something. I need somebody, like I'm like, nah, I'm not doing this. I'm like, that's out. And I'm like like start calling on God, I kept calling on God. And, you know, the devil like kept telling me, like, yeah, it's too late. Like he already delivered you on my hands, like you delivered, like this is gonna happen. Da -da -da. And I just kept calling on God, like for like a week straight, calling on God, calling on God, like and then, like, one day I'm watching TBN, the Trinity Broadcast Network. It's, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, like, my my headphones start going in and out, in and out, in and out. And then, um, like, 
the best way for me to describe it. I just feel like I'm getting vacuumed. Like my, I see, I'm, I see myself sitting down, and I'm like I feel my like soul leaving, like my body, and I'm looking, and I kept saying like, no, 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 and like it was just God's voice, like this is what you want, this is what you want to do. Say it again, say it again. I make sure everything on that paper come to pass. Say it again. And like I couldn't say it. I'm like, no, Father, forgive me, forgive me, Father, forgive me, Lord, forgive me. And he was like, look, man, you've been getting lied to. Like, look, you need to get right. I'm gonna send somebody to help you. Like, don't need a trip. Like, but you need to get right and get studied. And like from that day on, like I was spooked because mind you, I already called my people, told them like I'm going through this mm -hmm. stuff. Da -da -da. I'm not gonna be calling y'all. Da -da -da. And then like I just like reneged against what Shook was on. I'm like, nah, mm -hmm. I'm straight. I'm not doing that. Like, you feel me? Cause like once I get once I start trying to dabble in it, I see it's real. It's like this is what God had to do in order for me to wake up. It was like some real tragic, some real dramatic stuff. For sure. And I'm like, yeah, nah, like I'm straight. And I still thank God to this very day, cause man, who would have known? For sure. You know? Like like for the remainder of my time, like literally, uh, I was I didn't well for two weeks straight. I didn't leave the cell, like like nothing. I had food and all that. I so I wasn't worried about going to chow or none of that. Like I didn't get, like I said I was already not on the phone for like three months. Like I just was in the Bible and the I just went and and I just asked Lord. I'm like Lord, I don't know where I'm finna start, but I'm just gonna read the easiest stuff for me. Like and I just start reading Psalms mm -hmm. and Proverbs because like this is not a wisdom and knowledge in there. It's not about different stories of these different tribes and these different things that did that what nation did to that because at that time I couldn't really understand that because I'm new to this so I just went to the easiest stuff I went to Proverbs and Psalms because you know I gained knowledge from that gained wisdom and I started reading that reading that for like two weeks straight and I just like I said bro like I, I was not going to yard or none of that and then one day uh, my somebody came to my cell his name was Israel and he came knocked on my door he's like, hey, uh, can I be your celly? Da -da -da. He was older, like 60 years old. I'm like, nah, bro, you can't be my celly, bro. Like, cause I'm, sh I'm like shook. I'm thinking like this. I've been paranoid this whole time. I'm thinking like shook night probably from the send somebody to whack me or something. For like, sure. Like, you know, so like, I'm just keeping my distance. And uh, he like, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to sell it with you. Da -da -da. I'm getting into it with my celly. I'm like, nah, I'm straight, bro. Like, I'm good. And then, like, after, like, probably, like, two more weeks, I'm just watching him on the yard, like, inside the dorm. All he do is walk around with his Bible. And mind you, he's already an OG. He's already 60. So, like, you know, I wasn't looking at him as a threat. But, like, I was kind of looking at him as a threat because Suge Knight is old. I was just I was just thinking about all types of stuff. For I'm like, sure. I'm like, I'm like, this is an old nigga. He probably sent this old nigga on some old nigga shit. Like, I'm just, <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. but, uh. I ended up taking him because he ended up getting into it with a celly again. I'm like, man, he like, look, youngster, I don't care about the bottom bunk. You could keep the bottom bunk. Look, I'm 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 old, but I'm 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 mobile. Like I get at the top. I just want to get in the cell with you. So he ended up let, I ended up letting him get in the cell with me. And then uh when he got in the cell with me, he was like, Man, you hard headed, bro. Like, you hard headed. He like, man, I man, I've been trying to get in the cell with you for two weeks now. Like, he like, man, but uh, I'm just letting you know, like, I'm I've been sent here to you straight from God, like straight from God. I've been sent here to you, and like, you got a job to do, bro. Like, I'm just looking at, I'm looking at him, like, and it's he's he telling me this. His like, name's already Israel. Yeah, like, and I'm like, I, I'm not like thinking like. Man, like, what's up with this dude? I kind of am, but I'm kind of not only because of everything that just happened. So I'm giving it, like, maybe mm -hmm. let me see this dude. Let's see the fruits that he bear. Let me see what he's talking about. And, uh, yeah, like, like we start studying. Start He started helping me read the scriptures and understand the scriptures. And uh, one day, this is, like, after months. Like I said, this is, like, like I said, I was at Donovan for my last, like, year. And uh, now this is probably like around three months of us being sellies. One day he told me, he like, hey, bro, like, uh, uh, you got a song, and you said in your song, uh, 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 you keep on fucking Satan, and he keep on coming in your head. 
I'm like, what? Like, I got a song like that. It, was, it wasn't. It don't. I didn't mean it like that. I said he keep on keep. I said he keep on creeping on my. I said he keep on creeping in my head like these niggas hating. No, no, I said. But better, I said. But better yet again, I've been fucking saved and he keep on coming in my head like these niggas hating. And he said, he said that. And when he, when he said that, I was wondering, like, how does he know this? Because it's an unreleased song. But the song is called God Knows I Need God. I made this song when I was 18 after I got into a shootout. Got into a shootout with some people. And uh, I made this song. And uh, it was because my dad was telling me, like, man, you need to leave Cinco alone. Like, Cinco, that's your demon. Woo -de -woo -de -woo. And, like, I'm, I'm telling him, I am Cinco. What are you talking about? Duh. Like, and, like, but, like, you know, like, like one day my mom was crying to me and stuff. And like, I was really thinking about what she was, like, how she was looking at me, telling me, like, that's this not you. It's not you. Like, you've been acting different ever since uh, my grandma, uh, your, my mom died, which is my grandma. Like, you've been acting different. Like, this ain't you. And I'm, and I, and I'm putting together what they talking about. So I just made a song, like, where it's called, like I said, God Know I Need God. And it's Cinco and Bryce. And, like, Bryce is my government, the name that my mom okay. gave me. And they going back and forth, like, you know, arguing, like, over my body, like, type stuff. But it's me crying out, telling God to help me. Well, I made that when I was 18. Boom. I go to jail for four years, eight months. God woke me up. And this dude, this dude, this Sally of mine telling me about a song that nobody knows. This is wow. already a song. So... I knew, like, from that day on, and you just kept doing Bible studies and stuff like that, and, like, God would constantly speak through him and also, like, show confirmation through my different stuff that, you know, he's working with him. Like, I never seen him do anything outside of, like, uh, the character of a, uh, uh, of a, uh, somebody that's following Christ. And uh, he was always on point. And, like, I knew he was a prophet because no one would be able to tell me about something I said in a song that's unreleased mm -hmm. and you don't know nothing about me. And and you telling me that God tell it, that what told you to tell me, told me to fix that. Yeah, that's intense. And, like, from that day on, like, all I did was study and work out and just write raps, like, and... Uh, you know, that's how I, like, woke up and got into it to where it's like, I found out, like, dang, they tricking us. Dang, hold on. We them people, like, we them, got, we God's chosen people, and they out here got us killing each other, and they out here got us, they want us to kill each other. They want us to pro promote the music so we could stay asleep. Mm -hmm. They want us to kill each other. They want us to do drugs, and they want us, like, they don't want us for each other because as soon as we get come together as black and brown people and, 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 and stop the nonsense, they know that, they know, they know what happens. That we up. We up. That's what I'm saying. So, like, I, I woke up to it as as what I see it for. And that's why I came home and made those statements like, I'm not game banging no more. Knowing damn well I didn't do nothing to where it's like I didn't run from nobody. I never turned down no fade. I didn't snitch on nobody. The homies looking at me like, why? Why, bro? Like my uncle from the hood, my cousin from the hood, my dad from the hood, like I don't have to like I'm really somebody from over there. I don't have to stop. I I go over there. You're I still, still be though. I still, still be you. over there, right? I'll be over there. Like I just seen the homie. Like they all for me and they for what I'm for because it's like, bro, I'ma always be from the, my neighborhood and be where I'm from. But as far as promoting game banging and on it like outside, like bro, I'm not. That's dumb. You, you did it. I want us to come together. I want us to stop. Bo trying to go kill each other with because in in a, in, a, in all reality I'm not looking to go kill nobody. If I got a gun on me, it's to, for protection. But I'm not looking for you to go kill you. I would rather go make some money. I would rather do something productive. Like that's that's how I am. Mm -hmm. And like, it's a trick. It's a trick. They got us killing each other. And that's what I'm on now. I want to push God. First and foremost, because without God, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. He delivered me. He helped me. He He woke me up, and I wasn't putting God first. Now I put God first in everything I do. I pray constantly. Before this interview, I pray. Like, for real. Like, you can ask my girl. She'll tell you. Like, she be praying with me all the time. But, like, you know, like, 
that's what I'm on. I'm on, you know, more life, more success, and just wealth and just bringing us together. That's my that's right calling. Right now. That's what God told me to do to help my people. And that's right. So you got out of Donovan. Mm-hmm. And what did you what did you do when you got out? Oh, uh, well, so uh, came my release date since I had the warrant for Mariah Carey. Come to my release date. I was supposed to get released and uh, get a citation and just go handle that. But because it was so old, like I said, the burglary is from 2019. I got released in 2023. They didn't, like I said, they didn't so get me to the end. So you just got out. Right. You just, you're super fresh out. Like six, I got out in August. Okay, yeah, you're super fresh out still. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, I, I went to the county and they, it was, it, it was basically like quote unquote I got released. That's how they treated me. Like I, I, don't, I lost my CDC number, and I got booked under a new booking number in the county. And when I got booked under the county, I just went to court a couple times because I knew they was gonna. I just prayed about it. And prayed about it. I, I knew really to be honest. God handled they, that right. That they could. That this was going. What I was pushing for was to get it dismissed because I just did all this time. Mm-hmm. Like y'all could have got me in 2019 initially and got it ran 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 the cases with that. I just did all this time so I know I could get time served, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's into what happened. I did like two weeks in the county, and then uh, yeah, I ended up getting time served and uh, I got out. They just really they wanted uh they just this is Mariah Carey's house so they wanted a. Uh, what's them call it? A, 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 a plea deal. Got they it. Not, they wasn't finna just let me go scot free. They wanted some, uh, some type of paper trail for it. Got it. Got it. Got it. But yeah, that's what happened. And then I got out. Well, good for you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Good. I mean, I love that. You know that you are where you are now mentally, like the way you think. You know mm-hmm. that you're obviously. Cause that I'm sure that experience there was intense for you going mm-hmm. through all of that. Like. You by yourself, yeah, like you a, not knowing, like man, am I gonna, like is this we're gonna take me out? Like, did you ever talk to him again after that? I'm sure he knew, right? Like this, like. I mean, I seen him. I just, just. Like he knew that you weren't rocking with it, and, and the devil knows who mm-hmm. he could get and who he can't automatically because it's just the man, way it is. I, I was just scared. my scared. The scariest point where I was at to where it was like where I felt like I was delivered already to the devil. Like it was a wrap. But then God, like, nah, I got you. That's right. Like, man, it's, it's like, that's why when I don't care what nobody talking about, like, the people, I got out and I'm, they see me doing what I'm doing, like. I'm not right for? <laughs> yeah, it's good, it's good. <laughs> it's like, I just don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I'll, I'll get down on my knees in front of anybody Amen. and thank the Lord. Yes, you know? of course. I I agree. I agree with you. So I'm going to ask you a red cake uh, question. Am I able to? Did you go in her room? Of course. Did you get her twenties? Man, <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, I ran through them like as far as like mm-hmm. seeing them, look at them, throwing them tight. Guy, guy. But I ain't gonna lie, like uh, when I, I I bounced in the house, when I bounced in, I, I, I called my baby mama. I'm like, look who, I, look, I'm in her, look who house I'm in. I'm showing her plaques, I'm showing her clothes, all her heels and stuff. I'm throwing them, like, you want these, babe? Like you want these? I got you, I got you. Put all her stuff. Yeah. But. But my baby mama was really like sick. She like, what are you? T- get out of there! Oh my, yes. uh, get off my phone! Get off my phone! Bye. Yes. She wasn't. She right? wasn't. You know. But okay. So you got out uh, obviously six months ago. And what are you doing? What are you doing now with your life to stay on the right? Uh, I got uh, clothing coming out. I'm about to invest in some uh, a restaurant too. Nice. Uh, my clothing brand. Uh. Uh, I'm about to start dropping music. Mm. I'm just, you know, chilling and just trying to make sure that uh, I could be a good role model for my family, my daughter, and all the little ones. Just everybody, just be a go- good role model. Yes. No troubles. Mm-mm. I mean, if they come, it is what it is, right? But you're right. going to do your best I mean, not to. I mean, honestly, like, yeah, somebody running up on me is different. I'm going to tell them, like, look, bro, I'm, I'm chilling. But if you continue to, like, come on, bro. I'm going to defend myself. Yes. You know what? Um, I've, I've been out for a long time already. Um, and I just barely feel I'm where I'm supposed to be. Right? So um, let me give you, do you mind if I give you a little bit of advice? Take your time. Take your time. Literally one day at a time. Because sometimes when we try to rush, we will stumble. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's going to happen to you. But I'm just saying, like, just take your time. 
take your time. Everything is going to fall in place, God willing, as and when it's the right time for you. Obviously, you have all these plans that we make plans when we're in there and we want to do everything and things like that. But take your time. You're very young. You know, you have your whole life ahead of you and God is good. And I wish you the best. Thank you. And I'm Thank here to support you. you. I'm here to you. support you. I mean that. Thank you. You're and, welcome. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm taking all support because, like, without anybody supporting me, what would I be? Yes. Know? And I'm, like I said, I'm very, like, humble. So I, I, I need your support. I got I'm you. you. I need <laughs> I your got support. You. Okay? you know, we support each other. You're here. You know, I, I'm here for you. I, I, we're here. We're fam now. Like, you know, once you come to my channel, like, I literally, everybody's like, I, I, I embrace it. I, I, you know, you came to me. For, oh, you didn't come to me, but, you know, we, we're here. Mm -hmm. We're here. You know, we're here for each other, and that's how we should be. Brown is good. Mm -hmm. We're both brown people. You yes. know what I'm saying? And, yes. and God is good. Is there anything else that you want to share that you haven't shared before we end up, before we end our show? Um, I would just like to say uh, um, each day you should be somewhere closer to where you want to be in your life. And if you're not getting closer then there's a problem and maybe the problem may be because you're not adding God in there. So I would like everybody, you know, to try that, you know, uh, try praying every day when you wake up. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Yes. It, well, you know, just talk to him throughout the day and go to him like your father. You know, if uh, if you're a child, how would you talk to your parent, you know? I'm a child of the Most High, so I go to him like my daddy. You know, I just go talk to him. And uh, I think if, you know, if we just add God to our lifestyle every day and make that normal instead of, you know, what, the, these demonics is normal. That's normal out here. But if we just reversed it, then we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the statement I wanted to make. Oh, good. I love that. Well, again, thank you for coming on Indicted TV. Yeah. Thank you for having Look, me. You're welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow Yo. us on Instagram.